Yes, sir. Yes, sir, that voice has not come. That will come now. Recording started. Yeah, but it is showing as recording. Okay, shall I carry on then? Somebody. Actually, uh, that recording sound will come, sir, once you start recording. You stop and do it once again, sir. Yeah. yeah. It's not coming, but it is being recorded. It is showing as recording. Okay, any message from Lavanya? No. Okay. Okay, sir. Then shall we proceed? Yes. Yeah. Okay, friends. Uh, agriculture policy. See, in the credit, we have RAM, Retail, Agriculture, MSME. Retail also, many circulars came. MSME also, many circulars came this, this year. So, it is very difficult to remember. Till now, it is okay what, you have, what, what I am teaching or what somebody is covering you. RAM is a very tough subject, just like CRM policy, how Chandrasekhar sir has covered. Okay, it's a, these three, four sessions, I think repeatedly you have to watch someone's video to make yourself comfortable as far as examination is concerned, as far as your working area is concerned. Okay, so agriculture is also an exhaustive subject. Generally, we, we don't give much loans in agriculture, so we should be more careful. AEOs are more comfortable here, but other than AEOs, it is very difficult to understand the subject. And most of the things are in the policy are very much related to Collateral security or security zone. Okay. So with this understanding, we will go to agriculture. In the first agriculture policy, they have given some numbers. It is very difficult to remember. But one thing I can tell you, they have never asked any question from these numbers. Like agriculture workforce engaged, how much in the country? 54.60%. Earlier, 70% we used to call. Now, now it became 55%. Like that, you remember. Rural female workers. 75% agriculture is star female workers only. Maybe because of SHGs, JLGs, the major contribution or major chunk is from ladies. So that is the reason maybe agriculture is mostly dependent on rural areas are female workers, 75%. Okay. Then our agriculture sector is growing at an average annual growth rate of 4.6% during the last six years. It's growing like anything. So last six years, average annual growth is 4.6%. Exports also, we have reached to a high level of US dollars, 50.2 billion. There are some key points I would like to note here. If possible, you try to remember, otherwise you leave it. 30th December 2022, this is government issued, RBI issued guidelines, information that KCC around 3.89 cards, all the banks have been given and KCC limits of 4.5. 4,51,672 crores have been disbursed. This is the data. This is the numbers. We don't have choice. On 17th October 2000, dates are not so important. This number is very good. The fisheries, KCC's sanction for fisheries sector, 1 lakh. This number we can remember. 1 lakh KCC loans for fisheries. All the banks have been sanctioned. And uh, animal husbandry, 9.5 lakh banks have sanctioned. This is what the data they have given. So some numbers, if at all in the choice it comes, minimum you should be able to hit the answer. See, for example, exports, some $50.2 you have listened today. In the exam hall, if at all it comes $48, $49, billion. Then minimum you can go with by remembering this slide, you will go to near. That is the reason I have given these figures. If you are unable to memorize these figures, leave it, not a problem. Okay, now comes to time norms. Time norms. There are MSME also, it is there. They will discuss in trade policy. For agriculture, you have to remember the most important answer is KCC within branch powers, how many days we have to sanction. This is examination point of view, very, very important question. KCC, we have to sanction within 15 days under branch powers. Other than KCC, any agriculture loan, if you are giving up to 25,000, also 15 days, we have to sanction just like KCC. But about 25,000, any agriculture loan, the maximum time given to a branch to sanction is 30 days. So these numbers, you need not remember. Remember KCC, 15 days. Agriculture also up to 25,050. Yeah, about 25,000, 30 days. Coming to the periods. Every time they are changing this. See, in uh, MSME, the concept is different. Agriculture also concept is different. When it is coming to definition of short term loan, medium term, long term. Long term is always above five years. You need not get confused. Short term. Short term means in agriculture, they call six months to 18 months. 
again i am telling generally kcc will be 12 months short term but up to 18 months how we will remember is even we give some uh, kcc loans if you are giving a short term crop it is 12 months if you are giving a kcc for a long term crop then it is 18 months long term crop means for example sugarcane sugarcane we will give repayment period up to 18 months it is a short kcc only so maybe like that if you remember you may not get confused in the examination hall short term means 6 months to 18 months and we will remember with sugarcane and the purpose will be purchase of seeds fertilizers all kcc related all these things whatever they purchase na those things they told under short term finance short term is 6 to 18 months medium term 36 months to 5 years or 3 years to 5 years whatever it may be long term above 5 years these are the three very very important for examination purpose you have to remember the dates don't get confused about short term long medium term long term under agriculture finance now coming to construction of farm house so everybody thinks that uh, farm house means it's a non priority no what they told in the policy is if anybody we are sanctioning a farm house loan to be classified under priority agriculture irrespective of the loan sanction since it is a part of agriculture development loan so they are considering as agriculture development loan so farm house will be considered as priority now obtention of copies of land records see generally in agriculture loan whatever branches when we are sanctioning up to 1.6 lakhs we don't take any security up to 1.6 lakhs we don't take any margin this is a common funda other than this something here they want to tell you obtention of copies of land regarding regarding land owned or leased whatever it may be certified revenue authorities to be aware that means land records need not be taken up to 1.6 lakhs but they are telling where only movable assets are created see if you are giving a kcc loan on a agriculture land definitely that land records will be given for example one agriculturist came and he want to take a loan on allied activities like crop loan sorry cow loan okay some piggery loan goat sheep loan so it is not we cannot ask him you are doing agriculture allied activity give me agriculture land records so here this point is very important if anybody is doing a agriculture allied activity and coming for a finance up to 1.6 lakhs land records obtention is waived this is the point you have to understand examination purpose 1.6 lakhs is important remaining is only concept now coming to service area norms service area norms the bank says up to 30 kilometers in their command area will be called as priority sector advance very very important for examination purpose 30 kilometers in all priority sectors they will call it branch branch can also sanction up to 30 kilometers in their command area for all priority sector advances then above 30 kilometers and please remember even above 30 kilometers if your branch manager is scale 4 and above you can sanction cm and above can permit finance beyond 30 kilometers also for them there is no restriction if it's scale 4 and above is there scale one, scale 1 scale 2 scale 3 managers means up to 30 kilometers only they can do if scale 1 scale 2 3 is working and beyond 30 kilometers if at all they want to sanction a loan then ro had the permission is required these three points are very important they can ask you anything okay then insurance when we are giving any loans under agriculture insurance is waived up to 50000 and please remember here i would like to tell you one more point why for a waiving insurance we have to take one form called nf368 nf368 we have to take and then only we can waive because customer has to give a request that he wants a waiver and insurance is waived up to 50000 it is not only we are thinking that on the fresh loan when you are sanctioning a agriculture loan of 50000 you may be thinking that we can waive as a sanctioning authority as a manager no for example you have given a loan of 2 lakhs the liability was cleared by the party and it came down to 49000 the loan sanctioned 2 lakhs 2 years back now the liability has come down to 50000 still sanctioning authority can pay so ultimately what i want to tell you is insurance waiver up to 50000 is not only for fresh sanction even for existing loans also it is there when the liability comes down to less than 50000 but government sponsored scheme you cannot waive even though it is less than 50000 there is a logic here see when government is sanction your bank is sanctioning the loan means the entire loan proceeds bank is giving when government has sponsored some loans like pme gpr whatever it may be in that government subsidy is involved government interest is involved how your bank can take a decision that we will waive insurance 
So that is the reason bank told very clearly, government sponsored scheme, compulsorily we have to cover, even if we are giving 25,000 loan also, insurance pakka you have to take. Now, coming to bills and vouchers, waiver. Generally, in the sanctioning authorities and the managers, we are always more interested how much bank is waiving because sometimes people cannot submit bills. So, up to 50,000 agriculture loans, it is waived. Agriculture loans, normal course, it is 50,000. But if any agriculture is taking development loans, please remember again, I'm telling you, development loans up to 2 lakhs, it is waived. If in the exam, if they're asking about agriculture loan, 50,000. If they're asking very specifically about development loans, it is up to 2 lakhs. Bills, vouchers are waived in the agriculture sector. The most important thing, you have waived. He has given a certificate, you have waived the bills. But remember, once you have waived the bills, it is your primary responsibility to go to the unit and verify whether the end use was done or not. Whatever you have given for 50,000, for example, you have given someone buffalo. Whether buffalo is there or not, you have to go and see end use. Within 15 days, this is very, very important. Within how many days we have to ensure end use? Within 15 days. Because here we are waiving the bills. So it is our primary responsibility to go and verify. Now, KCC loans are a crop loans. The most important question, the examiner, scale of finance. In KCC, we will give scale of finance. When I'm talking on KCC, you may understand better about scale of finance. Scale of finance means in simple language, for example, one farmer is having one acre land. Six months he is doing paddy, six months he is doing wheat cultivation. Then there will be one committee called district level technical committee. In the short, we will call it as DLTC. The district, maybe you are working in Bihar, Haryana, wherever it may be. In your district, one district level technical committee will be there. This committee will verify what's happening in their agriculture area and they will decide for one acre how much finance a bank can give. That for one acre, how much bank, for example, 50,000, 60,000, whatever a bank can give, that is called scale of finance. The, they will ask simple scale of finance will be decided by whom? DLTC, District Level Technical Committee. And the most important thing, when this committee is deciding scale of finance per acre, for a paddy, it is 50,000, for example, that 50,000 is including margin. That is the reason in KCC, we never ask borrower to bring separate margin. So no separate margin is insisted as it is already factored. Technical committee has already factored that in scale of finance. Then crop production when you are giving a kcc loan how much margin party has to bring just now i told you in kcc loans up to 160000 no margin no security here the question is about margin so 160000 no margin they may ask you anything in agriculture loans nil margin is up to what amount or they may ask you up to 160000 how much margin you have to bring any question you should remember up to 160 margin is nil then above 160,000, if anybody wants to agriculture loan, then the margin is for KCC is 15 to 25 percent. Please remember, this is a very important. This number, KCC also 15.25 percent. Even MSME also, mudra loans when you are giving, same margin, 15 to 25 percent on working capital limits. Just I correlated, this is not MSME class. To make you comfortable only, I told the same number, it is applicable for mudra loans also as far as working capital is concerned. If it is a term loan, straight away mudra told 15%. For working capital, they have given powers to the branch managers 15 to 25%. Based on the situation, based on the party, you can go to lesser margin like 15 or you can go to higher margin like 25%. That error has given to you 15 to 25%. Now coming to margin, KCC is very, very important. Other than that also, there are few other margins here available as per your policy. The most important I have written on kept in red mark, but possible you can remember everything. Try to remember these numbers. Number one is any ALLHV loans, vehicle loans other than medium and heavy vehicles. Normal vehicles like some, some, some agriculturist wants a bike. Okay, small loan, small vehicle, then only 10%. As you know, even our retail lending also, we will take only 10% margin. So 10% margin is enough. Coming to this medium and high HCV, medium vehicles and heavy commercial vehicles, the margin will be 25%. So these two margins are vehicle margins only. Small vehicles, 10%, bigger vehicles, 25%. Like that, if you remember, these two can be removed. 
then come to second hand vehicles 25% margin second hand tractors 40% margin deep sea fishing vessels he has asked this question many number of times to be factor that is the reason i kept in red 25 to 33% coming to estate purchase loans 50% margin anybody is purchasing agriculture land 20% margin agri clinic and agri business loan up to 5 lakhs margin is nil this is the only agriculture loan up to 5 lakhs nil above 5 lakhs again 15 to 25% margin just like kcc in kcc up to 1.6 nil above 1.6 15.25 in agri clinic and agri business up to 5 lakhs nil above 5 lakhs 15 to 25% krishi tatkal krishi mitra card it is nil i simply i can remember this tatkal and krishi mitra card only loan itself is a 50000 rupees for a 50000 how a agriculturist will bring margin so like that if you remember it is nil okay then infrastructure infrastructure funds in their government schemes aaf former PMFME, all these government kept at 10%. Government always keep lesser amount. Okay. Animal husbandry, government told 10 to 25%. This is what the margins you have to remember. Now, some something I told you, now something you can also think how to remember these margins, but red margins, red, whatever I have kept, don't forget. Deep is 25 to 30%, very important. Now, coming to security part. Already I told you, up to 1.6 lakhs, no security is required. That's why in KCC they told hypothecation of crops. That is nothing but your prime security. You are giving a KCC of 3 lakhs, 2 lakhs. What he will do? He will create crops. That is your security, prime security. So on 1 lakh 60,000, we will not ask any agriculture land or a mortgage of agriculture land. So up to 1.6 lakhs, no security in agriculture. Now the most important point. Up to 1.6 to 2.5 lakhs. Please remember here, I would like to tell you something with regard to online marking of lien. See, in some, some states, what happened is some governments, they have already updated all the land records into their systems like Bhumi package or some Dharani package. Like that, they have kept one package and all the agricultural land records in that state are already digitalized. It is available in computer. So what happens is if one bank is sanctioning a loan, for example, Telangana, Telangana, every, every land record is digitalized. In any farmer, if you want to see land, we can see in the system itself, computer itself, because it is digitalized. So what bank said is, if any state already digitalized the land records of agriculturist, why we should uh, give a difficulty to agriculturist to mortgage? So the privilege of 1.6 lakhs up, up to 1.6, no mortgage. 1.6 lakhs was increased to 2.5 lakhs wherever this digitalization of agriculture land records will happen in this that particular state. In Telangana, for example, it is digitalized. So what we can help our agriculturist is not 1.6. For them, up to 2.5 lakhs, we need not ask mortgage. Bank said up to 2.5 lakhs, you need not take any mortgage from the agriculturist. Then, then what we can do is we will go to the dharani package or a bhumi package whatever it may be in that we will create our charge in the system we have a password we will go there and we will write on that agriculture formal farmers land records this particular land of two acres is already availed loan from canara bank for 1 lakh kcc like that so any bank in andhra pradesh or telangana once they verify before giving a loan they will verify in the online package when they feel it is already available they don't give so this much security is available for some states because of their state people or a government has done digitalization of land records. So understanding this concept, now you see 1.6 to 2.5 lakhs, what government is telling, the bank is telling, no mortgage is required. Where, where the online marking is available, in Telangana we can do. For example, in Haryana, to my memory, when I am working in Haryana as a manager, the facility is not there. So we can't do for us 1.6 lakhs only for Telangana up to 2.5 lakhs. So this is the difference you must know. So now we will come to the point 1.6 to 2.5 lakhs, wherever online marking is available, you need not ask for any mortgage. You can create a charge in system itself, computer itself. But now the third option, the third option is wherever government has not done any online marking facility is not available or Telangana, such type of states, about 25 lakhs, same rule. 
For example, if Haryana still, if digitalization has not happened, just imagine, for Haryana, above 1.6 lakhs. For Telangana, above 2.5 lakhs. Because Telangana, all the digitalization is over up to 2.5. We are not creating any mortgage. We are not asking the farmer to give any mortgage. So above 2.5 lakhs, Telangana. Above 1.6 for Haryana, both and the same, we have to take mortgage. I hope with this understanding, you must go ahead. Mortgage of land is available for wherever 1.6 lakhs. There is no charge in uh, computer above 1.6 uh, in the system. Above, above 1.6 lakhs, we have to take mortgage of land. Like Telangana type of states where we can mark up to 2.5 lakhs, above 2.5 lakhs only we will go for mortgage of land. This concept you should understand. That's why I took some time here. Then KCC loans up to 1.6 lakhs. If anybody is taking any agriculturist, again, it's to gold also we can give based on appraised value. This is important here. You will, you know the concept now. We can give gold loan. I can use gold loan. We can give KCC. They may ask you, gold loan, which value you will consider for giving KCC under I can use gold? Appraised value. Okay. Then comes to case, uh, other than KCC, we will give some agriculture allied activities. When we are giving allied activities, I told you, farming is the main activity that uh, poultry, beekeeping, PC culture, fishery, dairy, all these falling under allied activities of agriculture. For them, we can give up to 2 lakhs. Here, the most important point is CGFMU. What happens is, earlier CGFMU used to cover at the time of initial stages only MSME loans. MSME also only micro. But in this, in that, after that, they told, even this, even this CGFMU can cover, CGFMU never covers farm credit. That means agriculture direct, like farming activity, they don't cover. Allied activities, they will cover up to 10 lakhs. So that was the reason this slide is here. Up to 10 lakhs, when CGFMU wants to, CGFMU can cover, so what are the guidelines? Up to 1.6 lakhs, up to 1.6 lakhs for allied activities, hypothecation of assets, anyway you have to do, and coverage of CGFMU also compulsory. I will quote one example here. You have given a crop loan, 1.6 lakhs or a 2 lakhs. Can you cover under CGFMU? You cannot cover because CGFMU cannot cover direct agriculture for your understanding, like farming and all. Now there is no word called direct direct agriculture, but for understanding purpose, I use that word. If you are giving a direct crop loan, CGFMU never covers. Allied activities, it covers. But the point is, why? Where this is a theory. Practically, what branch will make mistakes is, Diary, I told you diary will come. For example, you have given a diary loan. For example, you have given two buffaloes a loan of 1 lakh rupees. 50,000 one buffalo. Most of the branch managers they know, don't know about this rule. Allied activity can be covered under CGFMU. During inspector, during inspection, RBIA, your inspector will point out, you have given a diary loan of 1 lakh. You have not covered under CGFMU. So please remember, allied activities are to be covered compulsory under CGFMU. This is a practical thing. Tomorrow you will become a manager, senior manager. You should know about this. There should not be unnecessary remark on your branch agriculture portfolio. That's why I told this point I am correlating to your work. Clear? Okay. So coverage is mandatory up to 1.6 lakhs. Coming to 1.6 to 3 lakhs. If you are sanctioning an agriculture loan from 1 point, not agriculture, sorry, allied activity, 1.6 to 3 lakhs, then the guideline says, See, always hypothecation of agriculture uh, asset will be always there. Asset means what here? You have given a two buffaloes loan, diary. That is always covered. Other than that, compulsory CGFMU you have to do. When, when the tripartite agreement on milk union is available, this tripartite agreement from milk union, bank and a farmer, when such type of is available, compulsory, same, same, just like top, it will be covered. But when it is not available, 1.6 to 3 lakhs, even if you want to sanction a loan where tripartite agreement is not available, then mortgage of landed property or CGFMU coverage. Anything you can choose. Now coming to above 3 lakhs to above 10 lakhs loan. 3 lakhs to 10 lakhs, again prime security will be always there. Other than that, when you are giving a finance of 3 to 10 lakhs for development activities, development activities means development of land see for example one agriculture is having agriculture land he was unable to do agriculture work then what he has done is he has changed that agriculture land to a cattle shed 
some shed he has constructed, he kept some 50 buffaloes or cows. It became a cattle shed. Or he can convert the agricultural land to fish pond or a poultry shed. Here, why I am telling all these things is, agriculture land is available. If you're doing agriculture activity, okay. If he's doing such type of cattle shed, a fish pond in this agriculture land, it will become a development loan. It is crop. If he's doing our crop cultivation, it's a crop loan. If he's doing on agriculture land, some cattle, some poultry, some fish, it's a development loan. Why a development loan should be very clear. When a development loan can be done on my own, agriculturist can, done, can do on his own land also, some leased land also, especially when we are taking other uh, fish ponds and all that, most of the agriculturists, maximum they will do on leased land. So it arises on development. When agriculture farmer wants to develop my development activities, such type of cattle shed, all these things, they will do on their own land also. Sometimes they will take uh, leased land and they will do some uh, fish ponding activity and all. Very important. You should understand development activity. What is development? In those activities, if anybody is doing 3 to 10 lakhs when you are giving a loan, bank said mortgage of land is important. If it is own land, development activity is doing mortgage of land. But if development is taken on leased land, here the most important point. If anybody is doing on leased land, then mortgage of leasehold rights to be insisted. This is point. Own land, mortgage. If he has got a lease land, then the lesser has to give leasehold rights to the your borrower and your borrower has to uh, transfer that leasehold rights to the bank. This is what happens with regard to development loans. And compulsory, we have to cover under CGFM. This is any way we have to do. Okay. Then compulsory. Then if leasehold rights are not made, not more. for example, lesser has given for development activity. I am a farmer. I have 100 acres land I have taken and I am doing a fish pond activity. But my lesser, my wander is not permitting to go for mortgage of leasehold rights. They are not permitting. No, no, Kumar, you cannot mortgage leasehold rights to your Canada Bank. Then in that case, the option available for me is if leasehold rights are not made, I have to give bank collateral security of 150%. And remember, the, in such cases, if at all you want to waive the CGFMU, RO head can waive. 150% collateral if I am giving separately, then RO head can waive CGFMU. This is with regard to allied activities, agricultural activities. This is the way we have to follow security guidelines. Now, last is about 10 lakhs. When you are giving about 10 lakhs loan, one minute. Just a minute. Yeah, I think up to ten lakhs over. No, about ten lakhs. If anybody is taking about ten lakhs under allied activities, then let us see what happens. Here, CGFMU will not come into picture because it's about 10 lakhs. I told you up to 10 lakhs only CGFMU can cover. Now, first one is anyway always will be there, prime security. Then, now, now you understand, development activity somebody is doing. Same thing, he has to mortgage the land. Even about 10 lakhs also. But in leased land, if leased land, somebody is doing development activity, then the guideline says, Mortgage of leasehold right may be insisted first choice. That means Warner has to give leasehold rights to me, then I can do it. If not, if leasehold rights are mortgaged also, about 10 lakhs, please note, then immovable security should be obtained. That means collateral minimum 50% of the loan amount when, when leasehold rights are mortgaged. If leasehold not mortgaged, then again, 150% collateral you have to take out of the 150%, 50% collateral should be by way of residential commercial property only. This is the guideline. 
again i'm repeating about 10 lakhs if you want to take a agriculture agriculture land activity if you want to do cgfme will not be there so the bank says you take mortgage of property if the land is owned take the mortgage and give the loan no problem if there is a chance of lease has come i am doing on leased land this is about 10 lakhs loan then the leasehold rights to be mortgaged if leasehold rights are mortgaged 50% collateral i will take bank will take if leasehold rights are back, customer is unable to give then 150% collateral we will take out of that 150% 50% collateral should be under residential or commercial property that means surface the executed property bank wants to take this is the guideline now coming to tripartite agreement tripartite agreement means farmer some some company which is purchasing your farmer's produce and bank all these three will make a tie up that is the reason it is called as a tripartite agreement most of the tripartite agreement happens in tobacco business or some sugarcane business what happens is farmer and one factory will be there that factory will purchase sugarcane from your farmer and that company that uh, that company which is purchasing sugarcane will give a undertaking to bank that this farmer will sold this particular sugar canes to me they have taken loan from you don't worry we will make the payment directly to you after getting sugar cane farmer will give the sugar cane to the company and company will make the payment to the bank when this type of tripartite agreement is involved then we are safe we will get the repayment so up to 3 lakhs without any mortgage we can sanction loan generally agriculture up to 1.6 lakhs wherever this tripartite agreement type of concept is available bank has relaxed the security norms up to 3 lakhs now coming to other loans where mortgage of land properties are involved let us see some some specific scheme specific this is the latest change kisan od kod when you are giving it earlier kod means 100 percent collateral enough yeah 200 percent sorry 200 percent now some changes they made for renewal, if you want to do just renewal of KOD, at least 200% is enough. This earlier, whatever loans already KOD has been sanctioned by the branches, there we have taken only 200% only collateral, 200% of mortgage of that agriculture land. For example, that agriculture land value is, for example, 4 lakhs. We have given 2 lakhs. That means 200% coverage is there. If this party will come for renewal, we can do it because we have taken 200, bank also permitted up to 200% if it is available, we can renew. But if you want to do enhancement in KOD or if you want to give a fresh loan under KOD, remember now bank changed the guidelines. Same 200% is available. For, up to here, no change. But this is a broad, this is important change you should remember. Now, bank said 15%, 200% you have to give out of 200%, 15% should be given in the form of residential property. Very, very important to remember for examination purpose, for your working purpose also. For new managers, they have to, even if they want to give a KOD or earlier KOD, if they want to renewal with enhancement, they are supposed to take 15% collateral in the form of residential property. This is a new point. Okay. Then tractor loans. When a tractor loans, power tillers, combined harvesters, if anybody is taking 100%, 100% is nothing but equal to the loan amount. Deep sea vessels, this question also, I think I have seen repeatedly, deep sea vessels also 200% collateral. See, deep sea vessels, if they are asking about collateral, 200%. When they are asking about margin, we this is margin what we discussed is 25 to 33%. This is margin, please remember. Here also I kept it. Here also is very important, 200%. Okay. Then purchase of agriculture lands. If any agriculturist want to purchase a agriculture land, maximum loan we can give is 10 lakhs. Then estate purchase loans. See, somebody wants to take estate purchase loan means entire loan or when you are giving a land, this is a prime security. Always bank will take. Okay, other than that, collateral. See, there are different, different security norms they have given here. Okay, when you are giving a estate purchase loan, the collateral security, other than prime security, you should take surface compliant property. That means that whatever property you are taking, it should be sold under surface. It can be sold under surface. That type of property, that means residential property, commercial property, vacant site with some, some norms as per policy, we have to take. How much we have to take? 25% of the exposure. 
25 percent of the exposure you have to take sarfasi compliant property on that again bank said minimum out of this 25 again if the customer got customer have to be rated first he is a low risk normal risk medium risk customer if low risk customer out of 25 percent collateral 25 percent collateral should be in the form of again residential and commercial only normal means 35 percent medium means 50 percent in the form of residential and commercial collateral you have to take so i hope i am clear total 25 percent surface compliant you have to take out of which again residential commercial you have to take 25 35 50 based on the risk category of the borrower whatever risk he gets based on that you have to take okay then comes to then we come to agri clinics agri clinic and agri business okay i think this word may be new to you agri clinic agri business agri clinic is nothing but hospital clinic hospital here doctors are available which doctor agriculture doctor what this agriculture doctor will do for example one farmer is there one agriculture area farmer is there farmer wants some suggestions some problem has come in his crop some pesticide has come something problem so he can go he can take some suggestions feedback from this agri clinics agri clinics will support agriculturist by giving some valuable suggestions with regarding to crop pattern what crop he can make what type of precautions this is a agri clinic in that agriculture graduates will be available they will guide the farmer this is agri clinic agri business agriculture business they will do what business they will do they will keep some tractors power tillers in the agri business shop and this shop will give to give these particular tractors, power tillers on hire to this agriculturist. So that agriculture, if they want any tractor to be hired, they will go to agri business. If they want any suggestion, they will go to agri clinics. So these agri clinic, agri business, there are some guidelines. Some five, four graduates, they have to come. Minimum one graduate should be there. Some subsidy also government is giving. They will create this agri clinic and agri business centers where farmers will get some help. So when we are giving such finance to create agri clinic or to form agri clinic or agri business, here the guideline says up to five lakhs CGFMU is only security. Up to five lakhs only CGFMU. Five lakhs to ten lakhs any agri clinic up to five lakhs no margin agri clinic above five lakhs fifteen to twenty five percent margin. Just now I told you security part. Agri clinic up to 5 lakhs, no security. When there is no security, also up to 10 lakhs, Pakka CGFM will come in picture. Because when CGFM is available, you cannot give a clean loan. So compulsory CGFM. 5 to 10 lakhs for agri clinics. Yes, they told this hypothecation of asset always will be there. Mortgage of landed property. If the same is available as a prime security, whatever that agri clinic, they, they want to take a business. If that land is available in that business, then you can take. If developments are taken on the leased ad, leased, leased land, for example, the agriculture, agri clinic or agri business center that graduates, they don't have own land. They have taken on lease. In that case, if leasehold rights are there, we can up, we can take leasehold rights mortgage to the bank. Compulsory CGFMU. Whether you take or not, CGFMU is compulsory. If he's having a own land, they will mortgage. If they are having a lease land, if lease is permitting to give leasehold rights to your bank, you can take leasehold rights. Ultimately, CGFMU cover also you have to do. You have about 10 lakhs. No CGFMU, coverage is not there. Prime security is always be there. Mortgage 100% will be there and co obligant because here graduates are there, we have to take co obligants from them. Okay, this is how agri clinic, agri business center security part is concerned. Then come to crop loans. If any genuine reasons, any KCC customer or a crop loan customer, they cannot mortgage entire land, entire land on which they are going to raise then branches are permitted to give crop loans against the security part of land valued 125% of loan amount. Earlier it was 100%, now it has enhanced to 125%. What else? Entire land means, for example, one farmer is having 10 acres land. See, you want to give you 10 lakhs loan, 10 lakhs per acre, 1 lakh, 10 lakhs loan. He, for some technical reasons, he cannot total 10 acres, he cannot mortgage. But the value of the value of the land is one acre is for example one crore or 20 lakhs in that village you are giving only 10 lakhs what is the value of collateral 10 into 20 is 2 crore farmers always say when i'm working in a branch sir 2 crore collateral you are taking 10 lakhs only you are giving sir loan 
Okay. So what bank said is here is if anybody wants to take a loan on by giving 10 acres agriculture land by only 10 lakhs loan, bank says if party is providing 125% collateral, it is enough. That means if he's taking 10 lakhs, if he's giving 10 acres of land, if he gives even 20 lakhs, if the cost of one acre is, even if he give one acre land is enough for us. So the bank is saying, if the genuine reasons are there and you don't want to mortgage the entire land, bank said, 125% of the security you can take and you can give the loan. Now come to security general aspects. See, general aspects, what they have discussed is, when the loans are granted for land development activities, I told you what is a land development. Land development, I told you development means land go develop karna. Kaise karte hai? Poultry shed, poultry, dairy, okay, fish pond, all the developing. Other than that, now let us see what are other 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 development activities. Land leveling, land leveling, okay, sinking of well, contour bonding, other farm development. So if anybody is doing any development activities, then the security after post development value minimum 125 percent we have to take anybody is asking a development loan then the the security should be after post development should be 125 percent next same development somebody is doing on development what type of activity now cold storages rural godowns warehouses market yard silos any such type of things anybody is doing then value of the post security should be 133% of loan amount when, when there is a tie-up arrangement. Cold storage. Cold storage, farmer, bank, tie-up is there. 133% loan is enough. You can give cold storage loan with 133. When there is no tie-up arrangement without, then 150% collateral you have to take. Again, I am repeating. Land leveling, normally it is 125% on the top. But if anybody is doing cold storage rural go down, then they are supposed to provide you 133% of collateral with the tie-up agreement. Tie-up means we are a little bit safe. So banks are 133. No tie-up, 150%. Okay. Now comes to development loans above 15,000 up to 60,000. Same development loans if you are giving 15,000 to 60,000, then the guidelines are different because 160 party will not give any collateral. Right. Now what they say is, Land, where the land is not obtained as collateral in terms of guidelines, you have not taken any collateral. Then obtain photostat copies of the available title deeds. Other than that, encumbrance certificate EC you have to take for 13 years should be obtained and you have to verify there are, that there are no encumbrances on this property. So development loans 15,000 to 1,60,000. These three guidelines we have to follow. Now, agriculture loans, as far as security norms are concerned, what the bank guidelines are saying. When you are aggregation of loans, when you are doing, you need not consider the above four loans. Sorry, five. Earlier it is four. Now it is five. ALVSL is added. So following loans, we need not take into consideration while deciding security norms. Total loan amount we will keep. Now, for example, agriculture 1,60,000 above, we have to take security, for example. If these loans are a gold loan, party has taken gold loan. KCC now we has come. Both we have to add? No. Because as per man, as per policy, gold loan, biogas loan, marine fishery loans, ALHV loan, ALVS will, will not be added to see the security. Simple. So these are all different loans. Don't add these loans for calculating security norms. So five loans are there. Very, very important. ALVSL last year, it was not there. This year they have added in the policy. Gold loan, anyway, you know, gold loan, you will not add, you know it. Other than that, four loans are there. Biogas, Marine Fishery, ALLHV, ALVSL. Now coming to lease, lease, lease land only, but granting on who has given the lease, you see now. See, sometimes your borrowers, your agriculturist will take lease from government departments. Sometimes they will take from private treaties. When the lease land was taken by government, government by state government, central government, industrial parks, industrial areas have given lease to the agriculturist. Then what the security guidelines? When you are, when government generally, if they give, they will give on lease. So what the first point important is, when your farmer wants to do some activity on the land, which he got from government, now you see the guidelines. The lease deed should be registered that government might have given to the farmer under registered not simple unregistered. Just we take, na, rental agreement unregistered. No, 
when government is giving it should be registered lease deed then only against that you can give a loan and most important point is when you are giving a loan on a lease deed lease it land which was given by government what you have to see is minimum lease period should be minimum lease period how much it should be loan tenor plus 3 years loan tenor means for example i got a land from government i came to canara bank for a loan government has given me 10 years lease 10 years so your tenor your tenor can be 7 years plus 3 years only because what your side your guideline is saying maximum should be maximum tenor plus 3 years that means 10 years mein khatam hona hai so 7 years loan repayment plus 3 years total 10 10 years so i am fit for that i hope i am clear registered lease deed should be available and minimum lease period should be loan tenor plus 3 years see for example you want to give me repayment for 10 years then 10 years tenor ho gaya then plus 3 years 13 years that means my my uh, lease deed which was given by government should be minimum for 13 years then only you can sanction the loan for 10 years otherwise what you have to do for example government gave me for 10 years what you have to do 3 years extra you require first deduct 3 years from 10 years 7 years so maximum repayment you can give only 7 years this is the guideline so bottom also it is there so that's why i explained so minimum lease should be loan tenor plus 3 years that much lease period should be available then government should permit me to mortgage my leasehold rights mortgage of leasehold right government should permit then leasehold rights should be mortgaged to your bank and additional collateral if you want you can insist in which case when government is giving on lease next to two are if leasehold rights are not mortgaged if government has not given me a power to mortgage to your bank then then the bank says you i have to give 150% collateral out of 150% collateral 50% should come in the way of residential and commercial properties if existing loans already sanctioned already earlier they have sanctioned then minimum 200% of immovable security if you want to renew renew already loan given 200% if you want to give a fresh prop fresh loan without uh, government government lease land cannot be mortgaged then you have to take 150% collateral out of 150 50% should be in the form of residential and commercial then comes to private if private people are giving on lease government over no private people are giving don't worry same norms you see observe only one change is there same minimum registered lease would be available even private also minimum period of the loan of the tenor plus 3 years ownership of the lessor to be verified and confirmed it is very important then collateral security any immovable security we have to take in the form of fd what type if leasehold rights are not mortgaged then 50% of the security we have to take if it is mortgaged by leasehold rights then 50% is enough if not mortgaged private private lease also lesser has not given me the mortgage rights then also same 150% collateral 50% residential same you see same otherwise 200 same so both are same government or private if lease property is not mortgaged one and the same 150% 50% collateral renewal means 200% okay that is same okay but here some point is extra here if even in 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 government land if it is mortgaged bank is not any additional security bank is not asking when private lease lands are coming to picture bank is asking 50% collateral borrow your agriculture is has to provide this is the basic difference between government lease lands and private lease lands now loans granted to kccs under security norms when you are taking a kcc what are the security norms generally you know what happens up to 1.6 no security above 1.6 now we have seen now in case of loans above 50000 under leased land crop cultivation only lease earlier already we have given so many loans without any collateral correct na lease 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 are or lessee or no any lessee we have given 1.6 without any security now bank is telling please note very important point above 50000 if you want to give a loan under a leased crop cultivation already if you might have given up to 1.6 lakhs for renewal of kcc facility nothing you can do so hypothecation of crops will be security collateral is nil here the most important point now if you want to give a fresh loan of 50000 no bank has asked for something hypothecation of crops prime security will be there always collateral security here bank told we should obtain 125% of the loan amount 
now we have to take if it's a leased kcc if you want to give on leased land you even above 50000 you are supposed to take security 125% of the loan amount wherein value of vacant land should not be more than 50% that means 75% other than vacant land bank bonds so 125% of the loan amount should be minimum security you have to take in the mortgage of movable property 125% wherein value of vacant land should not be more than 50% it is nothing but 75% and above farmer has to give in the form of land and bidding so this is with regard to kcc security norms on leased land crop cultivation up to 50000 no problem above 50000 you have to remember the securities now now farmer is cultivating the land in both owned land lease land for example i have 10 acres land i have taken 100 acres on lease total 110 acres then again security part bank has even different guidelines prime always hypothecation i don't want to repeat collateral security even own land leased land is there bank said collateral security when you are taking mortgage of own land or any other land and building commercial property minimum 125% of the loan amount we have to take and same vacant land should not be more than 50% However, if the value of the owned land is alone 125%, then collateral security need not be insisted. If party is entirely cultivating on his own land, if he gives 125%, just now we discussed now 125%. If he is giving one here also 125%, everywhere 125% bank wants now. If you want to give a KCC, wherever mortgage is involved, what I observed is 125% is stipulated. 125% land himself is giving, no problem. But one farmer is doing for his own land also, lease land also. In this case also, in this case, if lease land is added, then 125% he has to give security. Out of that, vacant land should not be more than 50%. Then, in, if, in case of existing KCC loans, nothing we can do now which are sanctioned with collateral security, less than 125% of the loan amount, they may be permitted to renew at the existing security level, subject to minimum 100% till closure. We have given earlier KCC loans with 100% collateral security. So that is the reason the guidelines are very clear. When it comes for renewal and all, you can have to do it. But at the time, if you want to enhancement, you have to ask for 125%. If it is a renewal, continue with 100% till closure. Okay. However, enhancement in the leaf, I told her, if any to be permitted with revised, strictly minimum 125% to be obtained. So ultimately, 125% is a new guideline. Earlier people who are already enjoying limits, we will continue with 100%. If new people are coming or existing people wants enhancement, we will ask 125%. This is the guideline. Out of that 125% also, 125% security you have to take. Out of that, vacant land should not be more than 50%. Now coming to rate of interest while calculating rate of interest in agriculture some loans have been excluded again gold loan will come gold loan is a different loan they will not add this loan for charging rate of interest gold loan SHG, pledge loans farmhouse and three four three wheeler four wheeler loans and asbsl these loans you need not add you need not aggregate you need not aggregate these for considering rate of interest these are excluded i can tell you okay now come to penal interest. Agriculture, penal interest, up to 25,000, it is nil. 25,000 to 2 lakhs, it is 1%. Above 2 lakhs, it is 2%. In this, these type of questions, examiner is more interested. They will ask you, in agriculture loans, above dash lakhs, above dash percent will be penalized. So, two questions he can ask if he wants to make you more confusable. Otherwise, he will give you directly about 2 lakhs. What is the penal interest bank is going to charge in agriculture? And remember, at any case, maximum penal interest on agriculture is 2% only. About 2 lakhs. Okay. Even 100 lakhs, 2 crore, 100 crores are 2%. Only. Now, all non-priority agriculture loans, up to 5,000 it is nil. Above 5,000 it is 2%. This is with regard to penal interest on agriculture loans. Now coming to penal interest on other loans. For example, when you are giving to a loan to a cooperative society, 1%. Delay in equitable mortgage, second charge, 1%. Monthly stock statement not submitting timely, 2%. QOS, HOS, this is in credit policy also, quarterly operating statement, half yearly operating statement. If anybody is not submitting on due dates, the penalty is 1% on fund-based liability, 
and is 0.25 percent on non-fund based liability subject to maximum of one lakh only most important subject to maximum one lakh only if somebody is not giving qis regularly penalty is like that fund based one percent non-fund based 0.25 percent total cannot be more than one lakh. non-submission of annual finance abs somebody is not giving by 31st october then two percent penalty Agriculture term loan penal interest should not be charged. You cannot charge agriculture term loans penal interest up to three months from the due date of the repayment. And the when the party is due for agriculture loans in a term loan, three months you should not charge any penalty. Three months is very important. Then comes to general. In agriculture, who is the existing customer with satisfactory dealings? If any customer having one year satisfactory dealings with you, he will be called as existing customer of your bank display of boards up to 25000 in agriculture it is waived and remember kcc and kod irrespective of the loan it is waived in kcc will you more kcc loans under agriculture you cannot ask agriculture to put a board or it is hypothecated to canara bank okay so kcc kod that is the reason we never found any hypothecation boards in kcc loans when you go to a land, you cannot see a KC Canada Bank board. Okay, so KCC KOD Bank exempted all other loans up to twenty five thousand exempted. Post sanction, as I already discussed it with you, when it is a development loans up to two lakhs, all other loans up to fifty thousand it is waived within fifteen days. You have to post sanction. You have to do, but normal post sanction all other loans you have to complete fifteen within fifteen to thirty days. Then comes to PAPR. PAPR stands for Project Implementation Progress Report. This is applicable only for term loans. When you have sanctioned a term loan, when the term loan proceeds are going from your bank, it is your primary responsibility to go and verify how the progress is going on. So what happens is every quarter, every quarter, we will take one certificate. This format is available in term loan manual. This PAPR report will be given to the borrower. Borrower will go to a chartered accountant and chartered accountant will prepare how much loan bank has given, how much margin he has stipulated, he has given, and how much work completed there. So all these things in the PAPR report, they will stipulate in every quarter and they will give to branch. After that, branch will go and verify whatever written by CA, confirmed by borrower, happening or not. So quarterly, every quarter, going and verifying your term loan proceeds, end use is nothing but project implementation project report, but it is not applicable for small loans. It is applicable for 50 lakhs and above loans. If at all, if this anybody wants to waive, yes, it can be waived, but only circle head can waive that to up to two crores. Then comes to CIC guidelines. Civil experience, as you know pretty well, I don't want to discuss. Any fresh agri loans, about 10 lakhs, that means up to 10 lakhs branch can do. About 10 lakhs and up to including 25 lakhs for high risk accounts, only RO head can permit. This is very important question. Main, I think two, three times I have seen this question from agriculture policy. They will ask you, RO head CAC can waive up to what amount? About 10 lakhs and up to 25 lakhs for high risk accounts. Normally about 10 lakhs. If it is a high risk, up to 25 lakhs, your RO head can waive CAC. That means loan can be sanctioned. Any relief measures, natural calamities, anything happens. If RBI says to give some relief measures to the farmers, then it should be extended within 90 days from the date of natural calamity. Okay. Once the notification comes from RBI, within 90 days, you have to implement it. Agriculture passbook. It is NB-134. Restructured portion need not be classified as NPA. For converted crop loans, you want to restructure some crop loans. Here, the bank guideline says maximum repayment up to two years you can give, including moratorium of one year. See, any restructuring, you can give moratorium period up to one year. You see, at least one year. So, what they say is if any crop loan, the loss of the crop is in between 33 to 50 percent. 33 to 50 percent crop loan me crop loss means you can give maximum repayment up to two years but a moratorium should be one year if the crop loss is more than 50 percent 
then the repayment holiday you can give up to five years, including moratorium period of one year. So 33 to 50 percent crop loss, only two years, one year moratorium. Above 50 percent loss, maximum five years, moratorium always one year. Okay. In that moratorium period, at least one year, this is a normal. Both the cases also they have given one year. This is a common point now. Additional collateral security can be instead for such restructuring. This is with regard to restructuring I discussed in agriculture. Now come to Canara consumption loan. This is one loan which bank is providing, Canara consumption loan. Provide relief to remove the hardships existing borrowers who have affected by natural calamities in rural and semi-urban only. Please remember. See, any natural calamity came in your area. With that, anybody is any existing customers are suffering. You can give a consumption loan up to 50,000, 15,000 per borrower. Okay, then follow-up visits are a post-sanction visits. There are two performers available, post-sanction report in agriculture, NF-584, NF-595. NF-594, poultry, dairy, pecari, such type of development loans you can use. NF-595, crop loan, irrigation loan, these things you can provide this particular report. Then crop loans, short duration crops. How much time is given to you for visit after follow-up visit? First visit should be done within one month. First to visit, within one month you have to do. After completion of sowing, planting, everything, the other visit you can do 15 days before harvest of crop. This is follow-up visits time period which bank has encountered for you. So normal first visit within one month, subsequent visit before harvest of crop within 15 days. Then all other loans under agriculture quarterly ones. Only short duration crops only you have to go within one month. Then Inspection charges for agriculture loans. Remember, any priority loan up to 25,000 is nil. Maybe agriculture, maybe MSME. So nil. No need to confuse. But 25,000 to 2 lakhs, penalty is 1%. Above 2 lakhs, 2%. Here also, 25,000 to 2 lakhs they have given. Per inspection, we will charge 150 rupees. Maximum four times we will go in a year. So 600. Above 2 lakhs, charge is 200. Maximum is actual. As many number of times you are going, those many times you can charge actuals. Now comes to in agriculture also, agriculture also, there is a reimbursement scheme is available, reimbursement. But reimbursement of development loans, please remember in reimbursement in MSME or agriculture, always bank will give reimbursement of plant and missionary value only, only plant and missionary, only plant and missionary. Now let us see how much bank will give. 25% of the term loan or the quantum of investment by the borrower, whichever is lower. This is very important. Always they will give, for example, somebody invested in plant and machinery 1 crore. Maximum you can give 25 lakhs only. So 25% of the term loan or the quantum of investment by the borrower, whichever is lower loan, term loan means everything, land, building, everything will come into picture. It will be more always. So mostly they will take care of plant and machinery only. But you cannot give to each and every customer. The customer risk rating should be lower normal. Whom we can give reimbursement, low risk customer, normal risk customer only. And it should be given repayments only on plant and machinery, not on land and building. Margin as per term loan sanction is strictly adhered while they give, you should not give tender money. If you are giving 25 lakhs, for example, margin you have to minus and remaining only you have to give. And the reimbursement should be claimed within six months. That means that plant and machinery might have purchased just six months back. If more than six months over means you cannot reimburse. Okay, certificate from CA we have to take, original bills we have to take from the manufacturer, then we can reimburse the money. And remember, circle lead is only having powers. As a branch manager, you cannot reimburse. Only circle lead. Okay, last, this time they have given a note, borrowers can avail this reimbursement either for investment made for immobile assets or plant and machinery, not for both. This is a new point they have added here. Then valuation. In agriculture, Valuation in agriculture means we always feel that the knowledgeable people are AEOs. They are the they are they have read that agriculture background they have. So AEOs, AEO promoting managers knows agriculture better than a normal officer. That is the reason bank said when the agriculture loans sanctioned to a particular borrower up to 30 lakhs, AEO, AEO promoting manager can give their valuation. Party need not bring valuation report from panel valuer. 
AEO, AEO manager themselves can give the value of the property. Other than AEO managers, normal managers, direct managers, we can say, like us promoted from normal officers, POs, for them, it is up to 20 lakhs only. Most important, for example. Please remember, AEO, AEO promoting manager, it is 30 lakhs. Normal managers are 20 lakhs. This much value you can consider. And remember, this value is not about the value of the property. You don't know the value of the property, na? So you Now you are giving the value. So loan. Loan amount up to 30. AEO, AEO, AEO manager and others is 20 lakhs. Now periodicity of valuation. When there is a structure, when there is without structure. With the structure means, for example, cattle shed, poultry. Eh, all these things are falling under. Then it is three years. Only without structure, only agriculture land is there. Vacant site, five years. This is the periodicity. Then, valuation reports. In the policy also it was written, when we have to take two valuations. In agriculture policy, they told it is 10 crores and above, we have to take two valuations. Most important, here some confusion again. As per CRM policy 538 part 2023, now the guidelines have changed it to five crores. Now it is not 10 crores. But in agriculture policy, it is 177. This circular is 177. This what they are quoting is 177. Later in 538, it is changed to 5 crores. Modified. Okay. But for examiner don't know all these things, he cannot compare because we are familiar with our internal guidelines. We know which guideline when it came. But uh, examiner, if he picks this line, your answer should be 10 crores only. I don't know how to answer this. But just see if luckily both are not available in the choice, you are very lucky if this question came so please remember as per agri policy it is 10 crores as per crm policy it is 5 crores now now coming to kcc kisan credit card kisan credit card maybe uh, if you might have done kcc maybe you knowing very well otherwise just you see crop maintenance we will give scale of finance i told now example if scale, scale of finance district level technical committee has given 50000 rupees just imagine 50,000, for example, parties having two acres of agriculture land. It is 1 lakh. And this is minimum agri crop maintenance. We have given this amount. Crop maintenance. Crop maintenance. Yeah, we have given 1 lakh. Party brought two acres agriculture land papers. Okay. 2 into 50,000, 1 lakh. Then post to harvest. Committee said 10% you can increase on 1 lakh. 10% of crop maintenance. So 10% of 1 lakh is 10,000 rupees we can add. Only two components we will add after crop cultivation, two components. Another one is repairs and maintenance. For that, uh, they told 20% on crop maintenance again. So 1 lakh ka 20%, 20,000 over. So total became 1 lakh 30,000. Other than this, what the uh, committee said is any crop insurance, accidental insurance, no payas is not available. Okay, all these insurances whatever original actual amount farmer is going to incur that amount also we will add for example we take 5000 rupees for all insurances so 1 lakh 1 lakh 35 so this is for first year this is for first year kcc this is how we assess kcc but for examination they may not ask you for you to work in a branch this is required but next slide is important for example to understand that point you should understand this so 135 first year now the point comes now, once the party got 1,35,000 in first year, see, next to, actually, KCC is always available for five years. KCC limit is always for five years. Now, what? What RBI told is, our government told is now, every year, 10% you increase. Every year, 10%. This is very, very important. Every year, how much we will increase, they will ask. 10%. How? 1 lakh 35 cut 10%. 13,500. Correct? Second year. So 13,500 plus 1 lakh 35. 1 lakh 48,500. Now next year is 148. From on this 10%, 14,850. 14,850 plus 14,800. It will become 1,600. Like this, 4 years you have to increase. 5th year, whatever limit is coming, this is the KCC limit of 5th year. This amount to be sanctioned, this amount of documentation to be taken care. Now you see, documents, mortgage, everything based on final year, this year only. Not 1,35,000, 196 is the limit for you to documentation or mortgage. Now the most important, this 
any KCC loan, if it's a short-term crop on the starting, I told you it is 12 months to be repaid. In case of long-term crop like sugar grain, 18 months. And first year, you have given the limit. You have, you have given for 196. You have taken loan, mortgage, everything for this. But first year, you have to disburse only 135,000. Second year, he will come because you have sanctioned 148 for second year. Now you have to take this annual format, review format. NF 974, you will fill. You will fill everything. The satisfactory party has paid the amount 135,000 with interest. Then only you can increase this 10%. Please remember, these five years, whatever you have... Uh, uh, whatever you have assessed the limit, that assessment of fifth year will be given as a sanctioned documentation mortgage. But first year, we have to release only 1,35,000. Why we are increasing this 10% every year? Because KCC is five years. We cannot imagine every year, every quarter, your DA is increasing in your bank as employee. Then what about farmer? Farmer also pesticides, all these things, na, fertilizers. Cost will increase every year. So that is the reason government told 10% we will increase every day and keep it ready for the farmer up to five years, okay? Then that is the reason KCC always five years with the annual review. Now you see, now this is the amount you got, very good. Now you have fixed it for second limit. Now recently RBI told one more point. Now this is very important. Every year you have increased 10%. For example, next year, district level technical committee has given scale of finance. Earlier they told 50,000, you remember. 50,000 we have taken, you see? 50,000 first year. For example, when you have when you want to when you are, when you are giving second year limit you observed district level technical committee has not increased 10% same 50000 they have given if they might have given 55000 means per acre that means 10% their increase is there if they are, there is no change at all same value they have given then then why we should increase to former so that is the reason RBI issued again guidelines here. What they told is during annual review, after first year, when the 148, 500, you want to give on second year, enhance it 10% when you want to give. They said branches to verify the scale of finance. If there is increase in scale of finance, you give 10%. Okay? Otherwise, otherwise you should not give. If there is increase 10%, then branch and limit 10%. If there is no increase in scale of finance, same 50,000, then branches may continue existing limit. That means first year limit, whatever is there, same will be continued. This 1,30,000 first year, na, same value will be considered for second year also. When, when the DLTC has given a scale of finance, when you observe there is no enhancement in scale of finance in that particular district. Okay, In existing account, in existing accounts, if fifth year limit is already avoided, then you have to continue the existing limit. You have no choice. Okay. Where the renewal amount is less than fifth year limit, then you can consider 15 to 25% increase. 10% increase you can give also. Branch may consider higher quantum also, maximum 15 to 25%. This is the guidelines. Given last year, this is available in your policy. To make it understand, I have given that chart. Now, insurance waiver. See, we have we have read that up to 50,000 insurance can be waived in agriculture loans. But remember, for example, when you give a loan under uh, poultry loans, live livestock, birds, none of the insurance company will come forward to take give insurance. In poultry loans, no insurance company will give insurance because livestock na? so it is very risky for them they have to pay more amount so that's why they doesn't come forward to give insurance coverage in that case bank said uh, to waive insurance insurance will be waived bird insurance will be waived but but bank said uh, party has to give one rd how how much rd has to give if it is a commercial layer commercial layer whatever working capital party is enjoying on that 6% of the working capital he has to put a RD. Collect for 5 years. Parent broiler. 10% working capital we have to give. Commercial broiler. 1% of working capital. Commercial layer means egg laying. There are 3 types of uh, poultry birds are there. One is layer. Layer means egg giving. Parent broiler means hatchery. Here that hatchery will give a small chick. That chick will go to this commercial broiler and within 45 days it will become bigger and you will 
it will come for non vegetarians to eat so broiler is very risky so 12% working capital hatchery means little risky so 10% layer risky is less egg egg giving hence so 6% so layer least safe 6% parent broiler 10% commercial broiler 12% please remember these three important numbers agriculture innovation center See, very big term loans will come to your our branches sometimes under agriculture. So we want an expert person to appraise whether we can sanction or loan. loan. So a technical expert is there. They are in agriculture innovation centers. They are all experts. They will go to a unit. When, a, For example, a poultry proposal come to your branch for 10 crores. Immediately, you have to refer to your circle. Your circle will refer to agriculture innovation center, which is in head office. And they will come, they will assess, they will appraise, then they will say whether this proposal is viable to the bank or not. Based on that, the loan will be sanctioned. This Agriculture Innovation Center, all the proposals, after a certain amount, it has to go them. What is that amount? If it is a new customer, a new customer came for a poultry loan, for example, 200 lakhs and above project cost, it has to go to AIC. If it is an existing customer, 500 lakhs. Please remember, new customers, risk is high. So bank kept lower amount, 200 lakhs. Existing customer already dealing with you some some already some poultry loans he has taken four or five crores. He's already good customer. He's repaying properly. So the appraisal will increase. Appraisal amount will increase to five crores. So two crores, five crores is very important in AIC is concerned. MSME appraisal is different. Agriculture appraisal is different. Agriculture appraisal will be taken care by Agriculture Innovation Center. Now come to some other security part. This, whenever party is unable to give, give original title deeds, some reasons, he is having some genuine reasons, when he is unable to give original title deeds, then borrower cannot mortgage lands. Alternative securities also he can give. For example, you want to do a agriculture loan, poultry loan. Party is unable to give agriculture land. Can't you take LIC policy? LIC policy is not safe, safe. Gold is not safe, safe. So bank has allowed alternative properties also can be taken under agriculture loans after certain margin. So these margins, LIC policy means 10%, LIC policy 10%, approved shares 50%, DMAT shares 30% margin, mutual fund 50% of net asset value, promissory notes 10%, NSC, Kisan Vikas Patra, th third party term deposit is 25%, gold jewelry, if you are taking gold as a collateral, 40% of the appraisal value is margin, that means 60% you can consider for loan. Alternate landed properties, if they give 50% margin, okay, then crop loans up to 25,000, coffee crop loans up to 50,000 may be considered for loanies of LDB. LD means land development banks. See, land development bank already is a borrower. He can come to your bank. Land development bank generally they give term loan. They don't give working capitals, okay. So here what they told is, Crop loans up to 25,000, coffee crop loans up to 50,000 may be considered for the loanies of land development banks after obtaining no objection certificate from land development bank. If land development bank giving an MOC, you can give loans, but very small loan up to 25,000, up to 50,000. And remember, the NOC, which land development bank will, will give, na, it should not be dated more than 15 days prior to the date of approach. Okay, latest only, it should be available, not old one. Now comes to one more concept of panel of agriculture consultants. Bank has started. This is new in this policy. Panel of agriculture consultants. They will they will like the direct selling agents. Now bank has already kept AUOs, AUO managers. Bank is recruiting so many credit people to take care of this agriculture portfolio to increase. Other than this, now bank started panel of agriculture consultants. Their empanelment will be for one year. Their empanelment only one year. Based on their performance, their tenure will be renewed. So for them, if they give any proposal to us, bank for sourcing a proposal, bank will pay some commission to this PACs. How much? 0.10% loan amount, maximum 50,000 per proposal. They may ask you if a pack, this shortcut is a PAC pack. PAC means panel of agriculture consultants. Their tenure is one year, but the commission is 0.10% maximum 50,000 per proposal. Then flexi KCC. Flexi KCC for marginal farmers we give 10,000 to 50,000. Okay. 
then KCC term loan. Once in the examination, they have asked this question. That's why I have kept here. KCC will be for working capital also, term loan also. Term loan also, we can give the maximum amount is three times annual net income with a maximum of five lakhs we can give under KCC. Second sublimit or a term loan component, we can say. Three times of annual net income with a maximum of five lakhs. This is regarding diary. I think never asked by the examiner. Earlier, he used to ask this question. How many lactations for a diary loan? For a diary, Buffalo will, diary loans means Buffalo on cows when you are sanctioning. Buffalo is having five to seven lactations. Cow will have 10 lactations. But remember, financing, for giving a loan, the age of the animal should be third lactation only. Up to the age of third lactation only, we will give loan. Third or above, ho gaya to four, five, ho gaya to we won't give loan. Okay. And high, high yielding milch cattle. This is a, a gayus words. If any giving any animal is giving any animal means cow and buffalo giving five liters of milk every day, it is called as high yielding milch cattle. Okay. So with this, I finish agriculture part. But agriculture schemes, whatever came during this year, I have not discussed. In my next session, whatever wherever whenever I take, I will cover those circulars because I have those circulars all 2022. So many circulars. But I don't want to cover. I know examiner will not ask anything in 5000, 2022. 2023 circulars I have to go through and I have to write the notes. Today I'll finish it. After that only this presentation will be shared. Agriculture policy 177, it is clear. All other circulars came under agriculture, I will cover. See, whatever topic I take up, I will give entire circulars just with regard to that particular topic like agriculture means entire last one year I will see what are circular scheme. Agriculture policy consists of some 200-300 pages. That I could able to cover. Remaining schemes, whatever came under agriculture, I need some time. I will cover in the next session. Let us see how much time it is. Can we have a break? Yeah, it is 4 o'clock. We will take a break. I thought uh, I will end at 3.30 but it is not over. Let's go. Sir, Anand sir, are you there? Anand sir, are you there, sir? Anyway, friends, we will take a break. It is four four fifteen. Okay. We will join at 4.15. Okay, 15 minutes break. I already told you, Rishi, PPT, I will not share now. Tomorrow, I will share the PPT. Okay. Because I have to finish the presentation, then I will give. I cannot give you. 4.20, okay. 4.20, we will assemble to complete deposits. Okay. Minimum, if I complete it through these uh, videos, minimum, sometime you can watch, even not today. Telegram link, I'll share, sir. Check this, sir. No, no, sir. Retail, that was not prepared by me. Retail was not prepared by me. It was prepared by one of my colleague, Mr. Pallav. I will share my PPT later. I have not at all written. Till now, I have not updated retail. Retail is a very big chapter. I Minimum, I require two days. But I have shared. You people are waiting for some material. Na? So, I have shared. Whoever has prepared, I have shared it. 
No, sir, it is not updated. I'll update. I'll update and I'll give it to you. Jeevan Dara, that is deposit scheme. We will discuss now. Morning session recording, I think it is not available. I think sir is waiting for that. Shame, no? Now you check, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can understand that it is difficult to remember everything. That's why we should practice. Many things I have done. Sir, every topic uh, will have some changes, sir. You cannot depend on last year videos or last year presentations. I personally feel it. Yeah, I will share, sir. That drive I will share, please wait. Because around nine topics only I have finished. That's why I am waiting, sir. Exam will be uh, not even moderate and tough, sir. It will be easy. Only thing you have to follow classes. OL almost uh, same, sir. But some changes have come. Na? This year, some OL circulars have come. That uh, Puraskar, there's some uh, changes they have. Rewarding all they have changed. Uh, last year is 1,000. Now it is 1,500. Some changes are there. I have prepared that. I have finished the presentation. So what I thought is I'll share those in some small videos I will make and I'll give it to you. Because uh, here in this CBOA channel, I would like to tell you important topics like uh, RAM, those things I want to cover. So that is the reason OL and all, OL and all small, small videos, I can make it and I can share it with you. Forex also, yes, there are some circulars, sir. See, Forex, OL, government schemes, small saving schemes, financial inclusion. These are all government topics. So I can make a small video and I can share it with you. I have, Actually, I want to make it that. So that uh, you can repeatedly, you can watch. Like government, that bank bank schemes also. The Jeevandara, SB Select, Delight, Elite. Numbers will confuse. Na? So I want to give a clarity on those products. I'll give you. Please wait for some time. Now presently, whatever presentations I am sharing, please go through. Uh, I am working on it. Give me some time. It is very difficult. When you when you are reading itself, when you are finding it difficult, how, how much difficulty I am facing while writing all the notes. So please try to understand and have patience. I am more eager to share it with you. Yeah, Forex PPT, what I shared is updated. Uh, sir, you can do one thing, sir. You can uh, send me a message. I'll share the link if you are not getting in the group. I have shared, uh, but still I don't know why it is not coming to you. I haven't even I have given to everyone. Again, I'm sharing. See, it is coming on the screen itself. But I don't know how you people are not getting. Anyway, number is there with you, I feel. So, my WhatsApp number, if you share, I cannot give you the material, but I will give you the link. In that group, Definitely somebody will post you if you ask me, if you ask in that group. Otherwise, I'll share. What's the topic? Now I would like to uh, take deposit policy, sir. Digital. Already taken, sir. Digital, I think somebody has taken digital, sir. Yes, Praveen. I think uh, we will see in month of May. Now it's already over.
class has been taken, sir. PPT not shared. Digital transaction. Okay, you want PPT. I will ask uh, an answer. Some question on agriculture policy. Yeah, parallel on the table in the circle, it is given. If given under PM in the Sikkim Bamboo Kutu Mudra will prevail. Yes. The name itself is Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana, na? PMM by means. Yeah, computer exam. When I am my drive, I am sharing, you will get that. Master classes. Okay. <coughs> I think uh, next class. <coughs> <clears throat> One class in between, I am. I, I will also take class not through Nakshar. I think CRM policy. So we'll take all the topics, will be very much useful for all of us. <coughs> That's why I'm taking credit classes now, sir. Today, with a great difficulty, I started agriculture because I think only one class left to me in CBOA. I think under 27, 28, uh, maybe I will be in Mangalore. So I may not be available. 28, 28, 29. If anybody is near to Mangalore, Karnataka, I think I'm I may I may take physical classes there for two days. So there I may take some other policies, classes, all those things. By the time I'll finish. So this week also I'll put some good time to work on my presentations. I will share all the presentations. Don't worry. I think after my presentations, you will get a two weeks' time. I will try to finish like that. Other policies, I have a doubt. But this week, definitely, I will give retail, agriculture, MSME, CRM, everything I will give. Only left out will be other policies. But slowly, I have to cover na? all our big, big circulars, very huge circulars. Online exam, CBOA, next week, uh, like that, Anand sir told. Padonati book, why not, sir? You can practice na? whatever knowledge you are uh, learning from myself or Anand sir or, sorry, Anand sir, uh, Jagannath sir. You can practice in that book. Whether you are you able to answer those questions or not. Because all the MCQs our faculty has prepared based on latest circulars. Separately, uh, you need not uh, check your knowledge. Just check with that MCQ. Now you are comfortable or not. What is the validity of fast track? To my memory, it is three years. sir. I have not gone through the digital lending policy. Last year, it is three years. This year, any change is there, I don't know. Because I have not read the policy. See, one by one, I will go. Last, when I'm reading policies only, I will read digital lending policy. You can go through. I think digital lending policy circular, it will be available. What is the validity of fast time? Last year, to my memory, it is three years. But I don't know. Latest, uh, I don't know what exactly it is. Today, you have an actual class, sir? No, I think uh, now next class is on 25th, I think. Because of Dasara holidays, they have stopped, I think, these two, three days. They will resume on 25th. The 25th will create risk policy, I think. One of our colleagues is taking from CABM. I think 27th, I have a class. Credit risk management class I am taking. Forex, when will be sponsored scheme? Forex, I will share the video. I will try to make a video and I will share it with you, Forex. Because general subjects I want to take, but the banking I don't want to take through channels. Okay. So that I will share it with you. Next night, terms of credit policy, but today it is a great policy because it was good. Yeah. But uh, that anyway, Reddy sir is expert. We, can, we can't say anything about Reddy sir. He is my guru. I have learned credit policy from him. Even still, uh, today also, if I get any doubt, I ask him more. Such a huge knowledgeable person he is. Okay, He is more senior than me. and uh, He worked in credit departments. He worked as a faculty for five years. Anyway, Nurture will uh, have a, another uh, person will take. A different experience you can have. MCQ definitely, sir. That's what I told you. Weekend classes try to provide a card. I don't think, sir. That's a physical class. They can't record, I think. Sir, somebody has asked about uh, CBOA class. CBOA? CBOA video. Sir, the sound is coming. Echoing, sir. Sir, tell me, sir. One Mr. Basaraj has asked uh, CBOA mm. videos. CDO, CBOA websites, uh, that is CBOA videos have been uploaded, sir. Mr. Ah, Basaraj. YouTube it is there, sir. YouTube is there, but he doesn't know, I think, the latest new channel. Mr. Mm. Sir Basaraj, you have to go to visit uh, the new channel, CBOA. I will tell you the channel name. G 
zero to one promotion policy. It will come sir as early. Other policies uh, I will let you know sir. Fast tag I don't know. That's what I told. Last year only I know. This year I am not at the policy, so I cannot give you the correct answer. Maybe someone someone is answering. It is five years. Maybe they might have gone through. Sir, Mr. Okay. Baskaran, it is CBOA underscore official. Last time when it is five, so when all videos for the policy. Okay. I think many questions came. Huh? All this uh, latest this year's classes are being uploaded in. Uh, I'll type here. This is the video. Yeah, agent commission also there was a change in my presentation. I made a mistake. I think agent commission. I will I will tell you. I think the one more circular has come this year. I'll tell you things. There is a change. <sighs> yeah, physical mode, you know, it is 40 rupees, I think. Receipts, 9 rupees, e mode, 9 rupees, pension payment, 45 rupees. There was a change. I think it is, uh, it was wrongly written in my presentation, general class. Last year, uh, that commissions only have kept it. There was a modification later. I think uh, some 337 by 23, one circular has come. I have not updated. Anyway, I will update. My circular note slowly I am reading. So maybe I have missed this updation. Once I will get and change that. I think 557, I think. Yes, sir. As per 357 bar 23, commissions have been changed. Receipt mode, physical mode is 40 rupees. E mode is 9 rupees. Pension payment is 75 rupees. And the payments other than pension is 6.5 6 paisa per 100. This modification I uh, have missed. Somebody has updated me. This time I am waiting. That is uh, 357 bar 23 circular. It is changed. In my general banking also, I think there was a... Uh, there was a mistake in that. I will modify when I'm giving Google Drive, I'll modify that. This, this is the circular I forgot to modify. Forty nine seventy five six point five pesos per hundred. Where is the change? I 
Nothing is there. 40 physical mode, 9 new mode, 75 per transfer. I don't know. 357, there is no change. Let us see. So I'll go through again. Okay. I think it is 417. Nurture PPT, first class. Ah, yeah, zero to one always highly qualified will be there. Google Drive, I will share, sir. Vacancies, nobody can tell. Google Drive is not a class. In that, you will share the links for all this material. Sir, after my request only, they have uploaded these natural PPTs in uh, that uh, candle. So now you cannot download, but uh, you can read in uh, that particular uh, candle. That's all. That's why I asked them, is it possible to download? They said it is not possible to download. Padanati MCQ, it is only it will be available only for SC, ST and OBC. Okay, that book will be given during promotion training only, sir. It cannot be given to everybody, I think. Yeah, I will inform Jyoti Swaroop that uh, technical issue, logging off, I'll inform you, okay? Yeah, yeah, score gay. Yeah, 420, Vimal, one minute. Pension payment reduced from 75 to 45. Huh? Let me check. Okay, I think it is 220. Yeah, it is 420. We will start the session. Sir, recording stopped. Huh? Anand, sir. Anand, sir. Recording is going on. Okay. Okay, friends, I think uh, we will continue because let us see how much time I will take. I am not seeing the time. Just I am trying to complete the presentation. If at all you are exhausted, you can uh, leave the session. Minimum this recording will be there so that later you can uh, continue. Okay. This is what my intention is. Minimum two topics will be finished today. Of course, agriculture also almost I can, I could be able to complete 70% only. That scheme, the schemes will be another 30%. Okay. So deposit minimum I will try to complete. Okay. Let us go to the session. So these are all uh, normal things which you know pretty well. Periodicity of interest in SB is quarterly. So February 1st, if you remember, all automatically best three months. Now joint account in savings account, any number is permitted. Minor self-operated account, 10 years and above only will permit. Photographs, generally we take two. Illiterate, we take three photographs. This is a recalled question. Now SB account opening. SB account, uh, generally we open maximum to individuals only. Please remember, individual and karta of HUF also we will open. But we should not open savings account for these people. That is very, very important. Government departments, budgetary allocations, municipal corporations, panchayat, what, wherever I kept red, very dangerous. Those names, uh, we will confuse whether to open or not. These people, we should not open. Panchayat, water sewage, drainage, test book publishing, societies, metropolitan authorities, they're all reading only. I don't want to read just observe these, these we cannot open a savings account. Most, if at all he asks exam, I feel he will keep municipal corporation. He will not open. Once odd man out is municipality. Introduction is not mandatory, you know very well. Now whom we can open? These people we can open. One is, one minute. Seven, 
जस्टिन This is whom we cannot open, whom we can open a savings account. This slide, no, we cannot open account for these people, government departments, bodies. So I don't want to read. I have given a list here. These people, you cannot open a savings account. And always examiner keep kept municipal authority as a odd man out. He will ask out of the following, we whom we cannot open a savings account. Answer definitely municipal corporation. They will keep out of this. But budget allocations, you will minimum your logic says budget you cannot open current account. Municipalities, panchayat, our mind say we can open, we cannot open. So here I came. So other than individual karta, these are the accounts we can open for savings account. Primary agriculture credit societies we can open savings. KVIB board we can open. Agriculture produce marketing we can open. Societies registered under society registration we can open. Companies licensed by central government. Only thing is. they should not add their name called limited if they are not using on the end of the company name limited not private limited if it is not there yes you can open account in the name of company also savings account government deposits government deposit departments bodies agencies in respect of grants central government sponsored schemes of central government all these things you can open savings dwakra dwakra anyway you know we are opening sig you know we are opening farmers club also we can open these 10 we can open in the previous slide we cannot open so remember any one of these pakka 100 i generally i not opening what we doesn't require opening you remember it's enough this you try to this also farmers club sag dwakra okay uh, agriculture produce we know maybe 3 4 remaining try to understand and keep it in your mind when you know what can be opened if at all he mixed this group to that group you can remove very easily now coming to rate of interest purpose in savings see there is a small change here there is a small change but remember there are presently there are these many slabs are available i always remember this amount only up to 5 crores for for working in the branch customer asks me that i could able to answer what is the rate of interest we are paying 2.9 crores very few customers will man, will maintain a balance more than 5 crores so exam ask a simple question he will ask this but he never asked the rate of interest in sb okay now comes to foreign students when the foreign student comes to india for pursuing their education we can open savings account i think kyc class also i told you again a repetition nro account we will open he has to bring his passport valid visa admission to the college where he got admission all this any address proof like a letter from college or a hostel or a from a embassy all these things will act as a address proof only thing is local address from america he came to india for studying he want to open an account okay he has to give a local address declaration here i am staying at ramnagar or somewhere then within period of 30 days we have to verify whether that address only he is staying or not after verification only we have to allow the transactions but till that 30 days there are only two type of transactions allowed one is inward and there is payment inward remittance he cannot make more than us dollars 1000 One thousand is nothing but eighty thousand rupees, and now dollar is around eighty-three rupees. Eighty-three thousand he can give credit. He can remit into account. Withdrawal he cannot withdraw more than fifty thousand. Examiner may ask only one thing: number of days he will ask, or amount he will ask. Whether US dollars one thousand or a maximum cap of fifty thousand withdrawal that is only important. These are all he will not ask for your understanding only. Now coming to current account, what type of current accounts we will open? The advantage of current account is. there is no restrictions in the number of withdrawal in the current account and the current accounts generally you know businessman you will open that you need not read 
proprietorship, partnership, LLP, HUF, private and public, public companies, registered societies, trust, everything you know. Executed administrative current account, government departments, charities, everybody you can open. Remember, individual also you can open, joint account also you can open. Ravi Kumar can come and open a current account with you, individual capacity. I know I need not have a proprietorship form. Jointly also I can open two or more individuals also. No restriction number of any number can join and they can open a current account with you. Even it doesn't require a partnership deed. Partnership deed, Alex, this is one account. So these are the accounts you can open under current account. Okay. And current account should not ordinarily open in the name of minors. That means you can open a current account. Now the most important slide with regard to current account. See, first two things you should understand. If there is no loan in any bank for a businessman, any bank he can go, he can open a current account. No restriction on him. When there is a loan with banks, there is a restriction. When he is having working capital exposures in banks, there is a different, there is a guideline. Other than OCC, if he is having term loans and all, separate guidelines available as per Reserve Bank of India. The first one which we are discussing is if he is having OCCs, if he is having, if at all he availed, who have availed OCC, if he is having OCC from banking system, from banks he has taken so many OCCs, then what is the process? The first one is if that borrower is having less than 5 crores, exposure remember if he is having total put together all the banks if we add his OCC exposure if it is less than 5 crore still he can no restrictions on opening on current account he can open anywhere in bank account but but one condition is there we will open for example all other banks he has having only 3 crores exposure we will open account but when when we will open account we will take a undertaking from the borrower what undertaking he will undertake, he will give information to the bank that whenever, whenever these credit facilities available by them from the banking system reaches 5 crores or more because above 5 crores guidelines are different. Again, I am repeating for your understanding. If no loans are there, no, he is not a borrower, he is only a customer, he is a depositor only, no loans, no OCC, no term loan, any bank can open. But if he is having OCC limits, then we have to see how much exposure he is having with all the banks. If it is less than 5 crores, you have no restriction of opening account. Any bank can open current account. But only condition is we have to take an undertaking letter. In that undertaking letter, this borrower will say, at any point of time, I am having all the limits with different banks. Whenever it crosses 5 crores, I will inform you. With this undertaking, we can open account for open a current account for the customers who are enjoying OCC with all other banks, but up to 5 crores. Now, second obligation is above 5 crores. If exposure from the entire banking system is 5 crores and more, here the conditions comes. The condition first is current account he can maintain in any one of the bank. He is having account with 2-3 banks. In any one bank whom he got finance, there only he has to open. But out of the three banks also, wherever his exposure is more than 10%, uh, there only has to open the account. Example, he is having, an, he is having OCC with the Canada Bank also, Bank of Broad also, State Bank of India also. Both three banks, just imagine. Canada Bank exposure is 30%. State Bank of India exposure is 5%. Bank of Broad exposure is some 70%. Total, 7 crores is distributed like this. The RBI says wherever he is having more than 10%, Canada Bank 30%, he can open. 70% in uh, Bank of Baroda, more exposure. So what they are telling is in any of the banks which has provided at least 10% of the exposure, more than 10% exposure, wherever he is having, there he can open current account. But if none, none of the lenders have 10% exposure, no. If, for example, he is dealing with 10 banks none of us is having more than 10% exposure, then the highest exposure, whoever is having, they will open the account. For example, Canada Bank is having 9.5%. That is the highest. Then only in Canada Bank he has to open the account. This is the guidelines with regard to 5 crores and above. Less than 5 crores, no restriction, undertaking letter. Above 5 crores, wherever he is having 
10% and above exposure in the banking system, there he can open the account. Maintain current account, any of the bank which has AC facility provided, the bank has at least 10% exposure. Then less than 10% means the highest exposure, whether it can be 9.9, 9.5, 5, 6, they can open. This is with regard to above 5 crores. Now last one is other lending banks. For example, above 10% can open. What about the other, other banks? which are financed to him, then they say other lending bank has an open only collection account. Collection account means they will collect checks on behalf of this borrower, that's all. And whatever amount received in their current account within two working days, very important, within two working days, they have to remit to the banks, other banks. Funds deposit will remit to two working, receiving such funds. Maintained with the above mentioned bank, maintaining current account of the borrower. Maybe Bank of Baroda is having 70%, Canara Bank 30%, SBI is having 9%. SBI will open pool account, collection account, because he's having 9%. But within two days, SBI has to remit that funds to the current account where he has maintained. He will maintain with Canara Bank or Bank of Baroda because they are having more than 10% share. In that account, this pooling bank, that State Bank of India has to transfer the amount to Canada. If he's maintained with Canada Bank, they have to transfer to Canada Bank. Two working days is very important for exam and these exposures are very important. Non-lending banks are not permitted to open current account. Only there are two, the OCC, only two norms. Less than 5 crore, yeah, above 5 crore. Less than 5 crore, current account can be opened by anybody by taking undertaking letter from the borrower. Yeah, above 5 crores, only lenders will open. Whoever given finance of OCC will only open. Who is having more than 10%, there only he can open. If it is less than 10%, everybody, then highest portion who is having, they will, they will open the account. All other lenders, they can open only collection account. Even though in collection account, if any amount is received, within two days, that bank should remit to the bank where the customer is maintaining current account. This is for the customers having OCC exposure in other banks. Clear? Now we will go to some other person. This person is, he will have an account other than OCC. Not availing CC overdraft, not availing any C current account overdraft from the banking system. Not CC, not draft up. Maybe term loan is having, maybe non-fund basic limits is having. Then what are the guidelines? Only one advantage is up to 5 crores guidelines here also same. Except OCC or other than less than 5 crores means again no restriction in current account. No restriction. No restriction. Again, same. You take an undertaking letter, open the account. So up to 5 crores, OCC, non-OCC, same rule. Everybody can open current account. Undertaking letter later. Clear? Then here, the there above 5 crores, same rule for OCC. Here, there is a norm. 5 to 50 crores. If 5 to 50 crores exposure, if this party is having other than OCC, ODD, underline, then no restriction on opening account by the lending banks. 5 to 50 crores, all lending banks can open. But non-lending banks have to open only collection account. Again, I am repeating not to have a confusion. OCC means above 5 crores, they told lenders can open. Lenders also above 10% should open. Non-lenders, only collection. Here what they are, even lenders also non-collection uh, collection account. In this account, they told above 5 to 50 crores, no restriction by lending banks, but non-lending banks may open only collection account. That means others can also open. Other banks also can open. Then if prospective customer is exposure is 50 crores and more, here three slabs, please remember, 5 crores, 5 to 50, above 50. Here only two slabs, up to 5, above 5. That's all, only two slabs. All other lendings here. Okay. So 5 crores, 5 to 50, no restriction on opening. Non-lending banks may open only collection account. 5 to 50 crores and above, only escrow mechanism will do. I think just now escrow mechanism, sir, has explained Chandra Shekhar, sir, elaboratively what is the escrow account. This mechanism will start when the exposure of this borrower is 50 crores and more. What the last time question they have asked is, in the escrow mechanism, after what exposure it will start? 50 crores. That is the reason I am stressing the concept very clearly. If you miss this concept in the exam, you will confuse. You know the answer 5 or 50. 
If the examiner give a little bit tricky question, you will confuse. So concept, you should be clear. Once this presentation comes to you, you be you be pakka on this particular because you have to work in the branch also. You must guide your juniors. Whether we can open, they will ask you whether we can open current account. Customer is having loans with other banks. This guideline is applicable. Anyway, I have quoted the circular. If you have further clarity, if you are unable to understand what I am saying, please go through these lines. Now we will go to other current account. See, for example, op opening of a current account for a customer who have NBFC. See, somebody has taken loans from NBFCs, financial institutions, cooperative banks, non-banking institutions, RBI told, banks are free to open current account without any restrictions. No 5 crore, no 50, no concept. Okay, but if such borrower avails from banks, please remember, 5 crores are above from banks, Whatever, whatever guidelines just now we have read, it is applicable. Okay. Then opening of current account for customers who are not availed any credit facilities from the banking system, free to open current account of prospective customers. I told you, if there is no loans, no term loan, no fund, there's no OCC. Anywhere they can open. This RARA account I will discuss later. RARA anyway, just you should understand his answer. That I will discuss you in RARA concept. General aspects under current account. Two passports as photos we have to take for opening a current account. Initial deposit, please remember when you are opening a current account, initial deposit, always we should go for cash. We should not go with the check because bank said one reason here. They may ask you a case study like this. That is the reason I'm explaining this point. If you are not opened an account with cash, if cash is not come, cash has not come, he cannot become a customer for you. If he's not a customer, if any check or return problems have come in your account, court will not protect you. That is the reason before collecting a check, make that make that uh, prospective customer as a customer by getting some deposit in that account. Some amount if he puts, he will become a customer. Later, if you collect a check, bank is safe. This is what bank is saying here because this is because while collecting checks, we cannot get legal protection. If only if they are collected for customers only, we will get protection. But LIC, government departments, yes, you can open with checks. Exceptional cases. Then minimum balance, try to buy hard. 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 7,500. Current account minimum balance. Rural, semi-urban, urban, metro. You know rural, urban, rural, semi-urban, urban, metro concept. Remember the numbers. 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 7,500. Remember, no choice. Special instructions in SIM 28, you have to take, you have to put in the system CBS. These are all available in current manual circular. I have not written anything from outside. So your examiner, your examiner paper setter also will read all the lines. He will pick some question from there. So we cannot ignore any line. Then interest. Who has told, our, who has told you banks will not pay any interest in current account? This is RBA directions. Okay, interest according to RBA, no interest is payable on any current account, including those of employees, charitable, marginal money, anything. Balance lying in current account in name of the deceased individual. If current account customer has died, whether you have to pay interest or not, yes, we can pay interest. From 1st May 1983, bank has, uh, RBA has given a circular, interest can be paid, but interest is only as the rate. Then, Current account balance with less than 20 rupees. If any current account balance came to less than 20 rupees, you can close the account. But of course, you have to issue a letter to the party and later you can close the account. But for your examination purpose, less than 20 rupees account. If there is no response, yes, you can close the account. And balance can be created to commission service charges. CASA accounts, inoperative CASA accounts with the zero balance, more than 12 months can be closed. This is one important. Again, I told you, you have to give a notice and you have to close. Without notice, you cannot close any account. Then, zero balance in operative, whether it can be permitted, yes, three accounts can be permitted. One is BSBD, PMJD by small value account. These are all financial inclusion accounts you cannot close. Accounts linked to loan, FDR, LOCAR, you cannot close, even though it is a zero balance in operative. Blocked by statutory authorities. These accounts you cannot close. Remaining accounts you can close within 12 months. More than 12 months. If still they are in current account in operative, you can close. Branch in charges are permitted to remove the hold funds. Earlier it was not there. They are permitted now. 
hold funds you can remove only on account of minimum balance charges. Then you can close. And the current account opening form is NF1018. Not only current account now, SB, current account, term deposit, any fresh application is 1018. Then come to Pardanashi ladies. Pardanashi ladies account, generally we should not open. Remember, generally we should not open. If at all you want to open, you have to take permission from resources section MIPD circle office, not from your RO. CEO, you have to take permission to open this Pardanashi lady account. Joint accounts, just like SB, in the name of no restriction in number of accounts. Partnership firms, we have discussed in general banking. If it is a banking, not more than 10% in a partnership. Other thing, 20%. If it is a company, 100. I have discussed in general banking. Now, rule of Clayton case. This is the most important case which you should know. In, For example, in a partnership account, one of the partner died immediately transactions in the accounts to be stopped. If you are not stopping, if anybody, if the other partners are not stopping, the advantage will go to the died partner or the guarantor who has gone out of the business. The, what the rule of Clayton says is, once the customer, once the partner died, whatever amount comes to credit to, credit to this particular account, that will clear the liability of the deceased partner or the guarantor who has left. So that is the reason immediately that account should be stopped and a separate account should be opened. Otherwise, tomorrow the legal head doesn't have any responsibility on it. This is rural rule of Clayton case. You can read later. Limited liability partnership form, LLP. LLP is a legal entity. Okay. It's a body legal entity. And the most important points with regard to LLP I have written here. So I will uh, chalk, we will chalk, we will discuss what are the important points. LLP minimum two persons, maximum no upper limit. Partnership is different, LLP is different. Okay, a body corporate including LLP can become a partner in LLP. Reconstitution of LLP due to the death, retirement of a partner left with two or more part partners will continue to exist. See, in any partnership or LLP, if minimum, if two partners are there, if one partner is died, that partnership firm will not be there. Minimum, after death of the partner, minimum two are required inside. Then only we can reconstitute the partnership or LLP, whatever it may be. Okay. So, recon LLP, conversion of partnership firm. Partnership firm, private limited company or unlisted company into LLP is allowed. A partnership, a company can become a LLP. But LLP cannot become a company or a partnership firm. Vice versa is not permitted. This is important point. Again, I'm repeating conversion of a partnership firm, private company, unlisted company can become a LLP. But LLP cannot become a company or a partnership firm. Then HUF cannot become a partner in LLP. A minor cannot become a partner in LLP. A minor can be a partner in partnership firm. A minor cannot be a partner in LLP. There are guidelines. And LLP has to register with ROC. Next, if the business continued for more than six months with one partner in LLP, see two partners constituted, minimum two, na, two partner, one person died. One partner continued the business for six months. Now the law says, he, the partner who alone continued, na, he is completely responsible for the entire business, entire liabilities, entire obligations. So six months is important. Single partner runs means in LLP is liable. Executor administrator. If court appoints, he will be called as administrator. Court administrator is appointed by court of law. Simple. Executor means through will, father will, uh, father will give a power to somebody to become an executor, then he will have he will be called as executor. Executor will come under will. Simple. Will will be written, then he will execute. He will come and execute. Interest-free deposits. If somebody wants interest-free deposits, generally we don't open. But if somebody forces owners that I don't want any interest, I want to open an account with you. Yes, we can open current account. But usually we don't, generally we don't open. If any except. Uh, uh, SB current, SB FD, we cannot open. Current account, we can open. That also, they said, if you open this type of current account any without interest, normally current account, we don't give an interest. But this account, if you open with zero, uh, without any interest, what happens is they are exempted. This account is exempted from minimum balance 
payment of service charges extra. That is the benefit for this particular account. Okay. Then employees account. Employees account also, we should not allow current account. Generally, we don't open current account. If at all a customer wants to open a current account, it is permitted. Only thing is permission required from HOSA and HRM section. Employees want to open a business account. Last number. Okay. Last number. Yes, account with minor as a proprietor. Generally, we don't open. Minors with a proprietor, generally, we don't open. But Section 26 of NI Act, it is permitting a minor to draw and endorse a negotiator person. He can endorse any negotiable instrument. But only disadvantage is, he, it has to be bind all parties except himself. Minor is safe, all others will be binded. That is the reason generally nobody will open. But remember, this section is important here. Generally, nobody asks the current account, can you open for a minor and all? They will ask you which NI Act empowers minor to draw negotiable instruments. And this logic also, he cannot bind, he can bind all parties, but not himself. This is the important point about section 26. Accounts of associates of persons, whether we can open, no. As a rule, normally not opened by the bank. But unless if it is incorporated as a company under the Companies Act, then we can open. Next, account in the name of limited company for a receiver account, we can open. Account can be opened. Account of post office with banks, yes, it can be opened a current account. So why I'm telling this is, is some odd man out question he will give. Out of the following, whom you cannot open a current account. If post office, we see, we will get confused in the examination. Or post office, we never opened. Na? Limited company receiver account, we will get confused. Because it all he picked from your manual circulars only. So that is the reason I picked these questions also for you. Now come to the important scheme called, now new, that current account, so many, three, three different accounts have come in current account. One is privilege, another is allied, and third one is delight. Again, I'm telling privilege, alight, delight. Remember, most important point before going into the product, I'm telling you, privilege and alight will give you the most important feature of cash handling charges. Delight never gives you any exemption on cash handling charges. Because you may be thinking delight also give you cash handling charges. If you're thinking, you are wrong. No, delight is having different features other than cash handling. Only privilege and allied only will give you. Now, let us see what is privilege current account and what is a allied current account. See, allied current account, minimum quarterly average balance, party has to maintain 1 lakh. The first, I will tell you the basic features. Current account, privilege account, average minimum balance, quarterly average, not minimum monthly, quarterly average balance, 1 lakh. When it comes to allied, which next, okay, next, is, next is allied, but I am discussing here, okay? Allied, what happens is minimum balance, quarterly average balance is 5 lakhs. Privilege 1 lakh, allied 5 lakhs. Now, the most important feature is cash handling charges, right? That we will understand first. In a privileged current account, customer has to bring 100 rupees and above currency only. First point. Allied also same. Okay. The cash handling charges will be waived only for the denominations of 100 rupees and above. Now, we will come to the amount. How much amount we are permitting waiver? In privilege, this in the privilege current account, we will permit five five lakhs per day. This is the point. Maximum per month is fifty lakhs. Again, I am repeating: current account privilege average balance is one lakh. If they maintain the cash handling charges waiver, will be five lakhs per day, fifty lakhs per month. After that, every 1 lakh, we charge 100 rupees. You know pretty well. Okay. Now, coming to Elite, without seeing Elite, I will tell you, in the Elite, per day limit is, average balance is 5 lakhs. Here 1 lakh, there 5 lakhs. The average balance, the cash handling charge is permitted is 10 lakhs. Here 5 lakhs, na, that is 10 lakhs. It is 50 lakhs, na, that is 100 lakhs. This is the major or main difference between Current account privilege and current account allied. Product code also you have to read. This is 214. 
I hope I'm clear. This is the main prospect of this these two products, privilege and allied. See, these two accounts came for waiver of cash handling charges. So we should know what is the balance he has to maintain, what is the privilege you are giving on cash handling. So again, 1 lakh, 5 lakh. 5 lakh per day, 50 lakhs. They're double, 10 lakhs and uh, uh, 5 lakhs, they're 10 lakhs per day. Here, 50 lakhs, they're 100 lakhs. That's all, okay? Denomination is 100. Now, let us see. Latest one circular has come, 527 bar 23. In that, what they told is, privilege customer, two beam QR sound boxes are free. Two beam. When you go to Elite, 10 are free. When you go to Delight, 20 are free. Serial, 5, 2, 10, 20. Current account balance is come now. So, 2, 10, 20. Now comes remaining all normal. These are the main points you have to remember. Sound boxes, very important. The average balance. Remaining, you see, very, very normal points. You can remember as you practice this. Debit card, platinum card, withdrawal, 50,000 per day. Credit card, first year free. Check leaves, 500. Here, 500. Here, 700. Here, unlimited. Here, unlimited. Like that, they have given. See? Unlimited. Okay? 500. NEFT, RTGS, DD, Locker, free. They are also free. Cash handling charges. This is what I was talking about. The most important point here is this one. Then, auto sweep facility. This is the second point where you can get confused is auto sweep. The average balance is 1 lakh. Balance over 1 lakh in multiples of 25,000. Remember, in privilege account, 1 lakh in multiples. Average balance also 1 lakh. Quarterly average balance, you see, 1 lakh. So, sweep out also 1 lakh. In multiples of 20,000, it will go. That's all. Over. The last point is non-maintenance of minimum balance charges. 1,000 rupees per quarter, 2,000 rupees penalty if the account is closed before 1 year. And this particular point is available in all three products. Okay? Now, I can tell you from here itself. 1,000, 2,000 na. In Elite, both are 2,000, 2,000. Both are 2,000, 2,000. In Delight, both are 2,500, 2,500. Over. I remember like that. Only thing is, this is only 1,000. In Privilege, if non-maintenance of minimum balance, charge is 1,000. Account closed one year, 2,000. When you go to next product, both are 2,000s. Both are 2,000s. When it comes to last product, both are 2,500. Only thing you have to remember is Siriatum. Privilege, Allied, Delight. Then automatically the answer will be correct. First one is minimum balance. If it is not maintaining 1,000, then comes 2,000. 2,000, 2,000. 2,500, 2,500. If this serial you follow, you will not confuse. Examiner, let him ask which product. You will be very clear in the examination hall. Otherwise, if you simply you read this products now you will get confused in the examination all you cannot give a product answer in the choice you will give 1000 2000 2500 and 1000 2000 2500 you will give you will get confused which answer for what question so try to remember in the pattern checks also 500 700 unlimited beam qr box two boxes 10 boxes 20 boxes clear okay this is how you have to remember this and for free personal accidental insurance they told for platinum cards, minimum 2 lakhs to 8 lakhs. Please remember, sir, whenever you are taking a rupee debit card, what is the amount they will give? 4 lakhs, 8 lakhs, 2 lakhs, 4 lakhs. Rupee card is giving a feature of personal accidental of 4 lakhs for ourselves, 8 lakhs for air accident. For a spouse, they are giving 2 lakhs, air accident, 4 lakhs. Same thing they have written. Minimum 2 lakhs they have taken here, maximum 8 lakhs, and they have written... Personal accidental incident or platinum credit card coverage ranges ranges from 2 to 8. That's all. Okay. This is how they will ask a question. Just they will pick the paragraph and they will put here. We can we are unable to answer. Only he, he how much memory you have, that's not a point. How many points you would able to recollect in the exam only matters there. I am trying my best to keep you understand these concepts also because ultimately we have to sell these products to customers. We should know the features of these three products. I hope I am clear now. Now you see eligibility 5 lakhs, free 10. Waiver of pause terminal is a new point because 5 lakhs is maintaining pause rent waived. Platinum card free 50,000, credit card free 700, 500, 700. NEFT, RTGS free. DD is 5. 
This is a new point. This is the odd man out here. In Allied, five DDs are free. Pause terminal, rent waived, same here. Okay, cash handling charges, you see. Only at home branch, 100 and above only, 10 lakhs, 100 lakhs. After that, 1 rupee per 1000. We will calculate 1 lakh per 100. 1 and the same. 1000 per 100 is nothing but 1 lakh per 100. Auto sweep facility. The average balance is 5 lakhs. Remember, auto sweep also start with 5 lakhs. There also 1 lakh, auto sweep above 1 lakh. Here 5 lakhs, 5 lakhs. But 5 lakhs in multiples of 5 lakhs here. In that, 1 lakh in multiples of 25,000. And the period is 15 to 181 days. The auto sweep deposit will be in the form of, in the period of 15 to 181 days. Non-maintenance already told you, 2000, 2000. Same, same point, insurance. This is one slide I have given to you to understand, okay? This is a, this is the third one, delight. Privilege ho gaya, allight ho gaya. Now we came to delight. 10 lakhs and above. First one is 1 lakh. Second one is 5 lakh. Third one is 10 lakhs. Beam QR machines, sound boxes. First one, two, then 10, here 20. Free. This is latest circular. Rupee free. Here ATM cash withdrawal, they made 1 lakh. Actually, what happened is, this policy, this 50,000 is earlier our platinum card. These, both these circulars, na, privilege and allied, last year circulars. But what happened is, when it is updating in your deposit current account circular, they have missed this point. Otherwise, this might have already an answer to 1 lakh. But the examiner doesn't know all these logics. He will simply ask in this particular account, what is the ATM withdrawal? You should answer 50,000 only, even though it is a 1 lakh. Because your circular is saying 50,000. Clear? Now, for this is a new product. Delight is a new product. That is the reason it became 1 lakh. This is actually this is correct. Now, credit card can be issued under this particular. See here, cash handling they have waived. They have not given. Then... 10 lakhs they are maintaining. Cash handling is not there. So bank has given a privilege for them by providing credit card free. How many? One main card up to 99 add-on cards. Maybe this was discussed in credit card policy of the bank. Then checkbooks unlimited. 500, 700 unlimited. NEFT, RTGS, folio charges, locker operation free. DDs. First one he has not commented. Second one 5. Now up to 10 lakhs. 10 lakhs DD per month. They told 5 DDs here. They have not told amount here. 5 DDs. Here 10 lakhs. 10 lakhs DD. Cash withdrawal charges. Free unlimited home branch. Pause terminals rent. 3 terminals they have waived. There only 1. Here 3 terminals. Auto sweep facility. 10 lakhs. About 10 lakhs. So auto sweep facility, if you ask, don't get confused. If you know the quarterly average balance, same amount will come to the balance over and above. 1 lakh means above 1 lakh. 5 lakhs means above 5 lakh. 10 lakhs means above 10 lakhs. But multiples is 5 lakhs. Period is same. 15 to 181 days. In Allied and Delight, the period of sweep of is 15 to 181. Waiver, 10%. If, if a Delight person comes for to a loan, 10% MSME term loan processing charges they have waived. Penalty is same, 2500, 2500 and debit card also same rule. Only few important points written in delayed days. Credit card is new point here. <coughs> DD is 10 lakhs. Pause terminal 3 are waived. Remaining all and processing charges 10% waiver. This is only applicable for delayed customers. So like this, if you bifurcate and read, then only you can retain. Otherwise, you will forget. You today, you most of the people after giving examination, they tell me, sir, so much of stuff, sir, we forgot, we got confused. Don't get confused while reading itself. Have a clear picture. Minimum, if you read, you want, you don't want to read 100 pages, read 20 pages. But the 20 pages, whatever question comes, you should not get confused. Such type of reading you should do when this type of examination is being conducted by the bank or by IBPS. Okay, is a memory based. So, memory, we cannot, our memory is. Our memory is not so strong. So we should have some techniques. Now come to PFMS account. PFMS stands for Public Financial Management System Account. Okay. These are why we are opening current account is these accounts are not eligible to open savings account. Okay. This is designed for private bodies and other customer types. Wherever identified and permitted by Government India, Government of India for opening PFMS accounts. Current account product will be given. Okay, private bodies, all these things again it will come. 
private bodies and other eligible customers identified and permitted by agencies by government of India who are not eligible to open FBPFMS, they, for those people, we will account current account. What is the features? Zero balance, checkbook and SMS facility may be provided, debit card, mobile banking not available. <laughs> See, these are the government is giving some funds. So they have told no debit card, no mobile banking. Okay. Then internet banking is available with transaction rights. Printing of account product not allowed. Porting of porting is not allowed. Service waived. NAFT, RJ, everything is waived for them. Rate of interest nil. Minimum balance also zero. Rate of interest also nil. This is your PFMS account. Public Financial Management System account. Now RERA. RERA, you know that real estate people are builders or who are constructing apartments, houses, they will open this account. And please remember, RERA has to open for each project new account. Each project individual account they have to open. See, the most important for examination purpose of RERA is RERA consists of three accounts. RERA minimum balance is zero. You remember that anyway you will understand. Any individual partnership, LLP company, anybody can open, no restriction. The most important it is combination of three accounts. What are these three combinations? One is pooling account. One is RERA designated current account. Third one is RERA current account of the builder. This is builder account. This is designated account. This is pooling account. What is the difference? When you understand the difference, it is very easy. The e pooling account is the entire project amount. For example, I have purchased an apartment for 100 lakhs. 100 lakhs will be deposited in pooling account first. Project amount will be deposited by customer in pooling account. That is current account, RERA collection account. First collection will come from the customer, whoever selling the apartment. 100 crore will come. From 100 crore, 70 crores, uh, sorry, 70% 70 will be transferred to RERA designated current account. Second account, it will flow 70%. That means if I am selling, but one, purchasing at one, 1 crore, 70 lakhs will come to this account. Remaining 30% will be transferred to this account. That is regular account of builder. That means first amount will come to pool account. From pool account, there will be two split. 70% will go to project. 30% will go to customer accounts, any builder account. This is how RERA account will function. The most important for exam is 70%. Whatever advance payment you are receiving, 70% will go to RERA designated account. That is very, very important for examination purpose. And remaining all general points, uh, individual account only we have to open. The customer will not be entitled to operate this account. Simply, he cannot come and withdraw this 70%. Okay, He has to provide how much work he has done, valuation, all these things. Then only bank will release the money. Debit card, credit card, nothing is allowed. If it is allowed, they will withdraw money. Builder will withdraw. So they have restricted. However, internet view access they have given. Internet banking view access they will be provided. Because he should know now where the amount has done, what is the balance available. He has to complete the project. That is the reason. View option has been given. No checkbook, no credit card, no debit card business. Okay. This is how the RERA product, the RERA product is 216. Product codes also you have to see, sir. No choice. Now, some important points. Opening of crossing check. Who can do? Only drawer can. Only drawer. See, for example, you have crossed the check. I can credit and I can sign. Yes, only but drawer can do. As per law, as per an act. Now, if a credit cooperative credit society is there, their member wants to deposit account. Cooperative society member got an amount of amount, some check he received. Whether he can put in cooperative account, society account or not. Yes, he can kept up to 50,000. Then endorsements. There are different type of endorsements. Maybe you might have read in JIB, CAB. But in your current account of master circular, they have given again on endorsements. So again, we have to recollect what we have read 10, 15 years back. Endorsement is section 15 of NA Act. NA Act 1881, you remember? Endorsement is section 15. Now, endorsement in blank, section 16. <coughs> 15, you remember? Next is endorsement in blank, 16. What endorsement, endorsement means? Endorser does not specify the name of endorsee. Simply, he will sign and give it to next fellow. It is called endorsement in blank. He will not write from whom he has endorsed. It's an order check. He has to give properly, but he has not given. Then it's called blank. Endorsement in full. Full means 
he will sign also he will write directions whom you have to make the payment then it is called endorsement is full blank means only sign no name whom he has endorsed it. full means he will signature he will write correct orders whom should be paid then it is endorsement in full then conditional endorsement conditional endorsement means the endorsee endorser endorser means who is endorsing okay endorser will give a check to endorsee and he will write a condition if something happened a specific event happened then only this endorsement is proper then that is not a proper endorsement that is called conditional endorsement okay then restrictive endorsement restrictive endorsement means generally a endorsee of a negotiation fully competent actually if I get an order check, I can endorse to anybody. No problem. But in this particular restrictive endorsement, Section 50 of NI Act permits restrictive endorsement. They are permitted. If I do a restrictive endorsement, such an endorsement prohibits further endorsement and it is called, if, if I do restrictive endorsement to X, X cannot endorse the check. So I am restricting him not to endorse further. That is called restrictive endorsement. Section 50 is important. Endorsements is 15. Endorsement open is 16. 15, 16. 15, 16 is very important. Then 50, 50. That is restrictive endorsement. These three numbers they are given the circular. Then facultative endorsement. Facultative endorsement is notice to dishonor is waived. What happens is I will give a, I will do endorsement and I will give it to a check to somebody else. If I have do facultative endorsement, if the check is returned without giving any notice to me, he can file a case. That is the reason it is called as facultative endorsement. So I will be in a problem, but my endorsee will be in an advantage position because he need not give any dishonor notice to me. Then sans recourse endorsement means without recourse. That means here I am safe. If I put sans course recourse endorsement, if I do, what happens is the endorsee who has received a check from me, he cannot come back to me for the payment if and all the check is returned because it is a sans recourse endorsement. It permits without recourse. Okay. There are six, one, two, three, four, five, six endorsements are there. The six endorsement, just try to remember. Sections you remember, I don't think they will ask a definition, but they may ask you like this. A check wants to be uh, the, the, the endorsee doesn't uh, doesn't uh, the endorsee wants to say to endorsee the notice of the dishonor should be waived then which type of endorsement you should do facultative endorsement that's why you should know see you you never read in this angle one way reverse for example recourse you will not give because in the name it is there you will never give this question without recourse which uh, type of endorsement you by name sans recourse will be available you will answer facultative endorsement is dangerous Dishonor of check we want to waive. Which type of endorsement you do? You don't know the answer, na? This name you don't know. This is a peculiar name. Try to read it. Restrictive. You want to restrict. Name itself will, will tell. Condition. Always this question is very, very important. Facultative endorsement. Now come to ultraviolet lamp. Ultraviolet lamp, we have to verify all the cash checks above 1000. If any cash check 1000, we are making a payment. We should take ultraviolet verification. If it is a check in the dividend, collection check or a dividend warrant, then above 5,000. These two are important for ultraviolet lamp. Cash checks, 1,000. Normal check means clearing checks. Dividend warrant collection, 5,000. Then payment of checks other than base branch. You know very well, it is up to 50,000 rupees only. Only for drawer, again, a self-check. Third party, we will not pay. And uh, even staff also, same rule. No withdrawal should be permitted. Then, if a withdrawal exceeds four figures, bearer check, 10,000 and above, then we have to take shortable KYC document of a bearer. For example, I have gave a check to my son. My son came to your branch for payment. He is a bearer. I am the drawer. My son comes to your bank and the payment is more than exceeds four figures. Four figures is 9,900. Exceeding means 10,000. If 10,000 and above check, if my son is bringing, you are supposed to ask KYC document. Fraud prevention. Then comes checks bearing non-existing date. If wrongly somebody puts a date like 31st April, which is not available, not existent, 30th February, then whether we should return the check? No, we should make the payment. 
back the guidelines says if any non existent date is there we have to presume and we have to make the payment on the preceding date preceding date means 30th february means 29th february you can make the payment then payment after office hours late payment everybody knows up to 10000 only for self cash withdrawal it is permitted and remember this should be permitted after business hours before working hours that means business hours is up to 4 o'clock office hours is up to 5 o'clock in between 10000 can be paid this is what they say now stop payment if any customer wants to make a stop payment they can make a stop payment first of all cbs option is chm35 stop payment who can do all the cases we will see now only drawer stop payment only drawer can do if you want only drawer can make stop payment then joint account any joint account holder can stop. See, these are all the chances of case studies. Partnership account. Any of the partner can stop. Company. Any authorized signatory can stop. Society. Any authorized signatory can stop. Payment of checks drawn by agent or a power of attorney holder. Only principal can stop. Agent cannot stop. Only principal can stop. Okay. Interest shall be, these are all stoppings, okay, stop payments, what is the process we can follow. Then, check drawer, interest to be levied to the drawer's account on checks. If the check is 50,000 and above, and if it is returned in clearing, we have to charge interest. Then, whatever check returned, we have to give it back to the customer within 24 hours. Then, check return reason, this is very important. If somebody has signed Forgot to put the stamp. It is called as property not marked. This word you have to remember. Property not marked. Check written. What is the register? NB12. Check refused register number is NB112. Guidelines of dishonor of checks for more than 1 crore. See this we will talk on dishonor of policy also. Dishonor of uh, instruments on policy is there in that also we will discuss. But in current account circular also they have written all these points. Very very important. Most of the time, this question is coming in the examination. The first one is only one thing. It is more than one crore, less than one crore. If checks are returning for more than one crore value of checks, more amount, four times only permitted. After four times, if checks are returned, bank will not issue checkbook. Bank will go for account closure. But remember, after fourth time, when you want to close the account, it is your primary responsibility being a banker to give a notice, cautionary advice. So fourth time when you want to close, third time you have to give caution advice. For more than one crore checks, four times return, close, no checkbook. Third time, give a caution letter. Less than one crore, lesser amount. Six times, six returns attract a closure and checkbook stoppage. But six times when sixth time when you want to close fifth time you have to give a caution notice if you remember these logics you need not remember anything more than one crore four occasions account to close no checkbook third time caution less than one crore checks six times permitted but six time you can close and no checkbook fifth time you have to give a cautionary advice coming to ecs mandate over checks over now coming to ecs mandate are dishonor of checks favoring stock exchanges. Remember, very important. ECS mandate returning, stock exchange checks returning, it is equal to more than one crore check guidelines. More than one crore, four times, same here. Fourth time, you have to close, fourth time, you have to close the account. Third time, you have to caution advice. Here, checkbook has not come because it is stock exchange and ECS mandate is involved. That's why they have not written about check. Okay. Checkbooks, when the checks are getting returned, updating where the option is ST683. In ST683, you have to update check returns. Reporting of check returns, rupees 10 lakhs to 1 crore. If check returns are there, we have to inform to resource section CBO. It is nothing but earlier MIPD. Okay. So reporting of check returns, we have to do about 10 lakhs to 1 crore. Unscanned signatures option is CHX704. No speci new specimen signature card should be countersigned by two officials. When a person's signature is differing, he will give a new specimen card. Two officers has to countersign. Substitution of image. You want to change the signature or earlier signature you want to modify. CA1401 is the option. 
account once opened, if it is closed, after account closed from there, 10 years from the date of closure, it should be preserved in your bank. Current account may be transferred to one branch to another branch after one year. Next, first one year, you cannot transfer. Transfer option, you know, BA995, you will transfer. Then, the transferred in branch, if they want to know how many accounts are transferred in, the BA02 is the option to know. Revival, closure of zero balance accounts. If no operations for the last six months, zero balance, we can revival. Our closure, anything we can do. Multiple checkbooks to current account holders. If any current account holders, multiple checkbooks, after six months only, we can give. Less than six months also can be given. It is manager's discretion. Now, enhancement of security features. Bank has introduced SAN. SAN stands for short account number. And SAN consists of six digits. And these six digits will come in between in between MICR code and transaction code. MICR code, transaction code, in between this SAN number will come. It is just for identifying the checks very fast. Additional security feature added in the check system. When the MICR banned, immediately it will pick the check. Okay, that is the purpose of SAN. Now, guidelines in newly opened accounts. If any account is opened, new account, first six months, we should be more careful. Account is also high risk. Closely monitor cash deposits withdrawals of rupees 10 lakhs. The first important point, the branch manager has to have an eye on about 10 lakhs withdrawals and deposits in a newly opened accounts. And the most important thing is all debits of 1 lakh and above in current account. Again, I'm repeating all debits of 1 lakh and above in current account should be authorized, shall be authorized by Manager, second line manager or branch in charge only. If you are a branch in charge, you are supposed to pass the checks. Passing the checks means only writing pay cash. Signature verification, content verification, debiting in the account officer will do. But pay cash manager has to write after verifying whether the transaction is genuine or not. Due diligence you have to play here. That is the reason bank said Yabo 1 lakh. Individuals and proprietorship. If any check presented across the counter or clearing, if the death of the customer, see any death, you cannot pass any check. Once you get the information, check will be returned. Any case, check will be returned. If death means we will return. Partnership firm, death of the partner, dissolve the firm. Check drawn by the deceased partner or present after his death. Check should not be paid without confirmation from the surviving partners. That means in a partnership form, even the death of the partner died from after taking confirmation from the surviving partners, we can pass the check. It means because what they said should not be paid without confirmation from the surviving partners. I think if the choice, if they give with confirmation, you can pass. Yes, we can say we can pass. Then death of Karta. No check will be honored. Generally, no check. Will, death means contract close, sir. In joint stock companies, it is passed. Because in a company's company is a legal statute. Legal. So when it is a legal statute, death of the death of company will not arise. Only authorized signatory will die. So no problem. We can pay it. Associations and clubs. No check signed by the attorney should be paid. In any case, we will not pay. Even on the death of attorney or the holder of LOA, check drawn by him should be returned. Everywhere check is written except company, if you observe. Now, general aspects in current account. Introduction not mandatory. Everybody knows. But which act? PML Act. Prevention of Money Laundering Act and RBI guidelines. We are not taking mandatory. Obtention of photograph. HUF. Karta we will take. SB current account. Existing customer means... Photograph need not be insisted. Joint account, no number of open. Addition deletions are very important. Addition, deletion, substitution of names. What are the guidelines in current account? Minor individuals, you cannot add anybody as a joint account. In case of joint account of a minor with major, no addition deletions you can do. And CI 142 is an option to add, delete, substitute the name. CIM 128 to operating instruction updated. Updation. PAN or Form 60, everybody knows, we will take PAN card or Form 60 for applicable to 
term deposits exceeding 50,000, anything above 50,000, we will take PAN card. But which rule? Rule 115B of IT rule. Minimum IT rule, income tax rule. If PAN is not submitted by the customer, TDS is prescribed at 20%, whichever is higher. 15G, 15H, which you take for giving exemption for income tax or TDS under 196 of IT Act. So all are related to Income Tax Act only. Income tax only restricting you. 20,000 and about 50,000 TDS, all these things. Please try to remember the section, sir, 114B. This is 197. Auto renewal facility and deposits. See, general FD, KD only auto renewal, auto renewal is permitted. Remember, no special schemes, 400 days, Kajana, all these things, bank never allows. NRI also, only once they will allow. NRE deposit also, only once. Now you see, auto renewal, can tax ever, capital gain, non callable anything are not allowed, sir. Except FDKD, no normal deposits only they will allow. NRE also, only once they will allow, only once. Why? Because NRI status may get changed. So, if the NRA strategy is changed, we cannot open NRA apps in our accounts. So, that is the reason they said only once. Next time, if they want a renewal, we will first we will see whether the, what is the status of NRA. If he is an NRA, yes, you can do it again. If he is not an NRA, you cannot renew. So, to check a non resident status and confirmation is required, so bank said NRA term deposit only once we will renew. Then, value dating of deposits of retired employees of the bank. When retired employees of the bank, when we got retired, bank will give you some SPF and SWF. If that amount is coming by way of check or a DD, then, for example, 1st October, check was written or a DD was written. You have received on 20th October. You can go to bank and you can ask a value date from 1st October, let me have this deposit permitted. But only one condition is within 30 days, you are supposed to submit the check or a DD, whatever you have received. Then only value date concept is applicable for employees or, sorry, ex-employees. This amount will come to ex-employees, okay? This is SPF, SBF amount, okay? Payment on due dates. See, within how many days before, we have to give a reminder to the customer that your deposit is getting matured or a 14 days notice. Whenever you are giving any cash payment, a declaration to be obtained, format is NF-141. General aspects in cash payments. Cash payment and IT, the sec amendment, they made an amendment in that what they told is cash payments can be made to depositor not more than rupees 20,000. NF 141 should be obtained. I told you just now. Revenue stamp, 5,000 and above, we need revenue stamp. If deposit remained for overdue period, generally overdue will not be there for everything we are doing auto. If at all a deposit is kept in overdue for more than 10 years, very longer period. So we have to take permission from MIPD before renewing. Because this customer has not come for 10 years. Suddenly how he has come? So bank has given power to MIPD, ROCO to check and permit the branch to go for renewal. Okay, then overdue term deposit. If any overdue, you cannot renew from value date. Only for that overdue period, you can give some interest. What is that? As per SB or contracted rate, whichever is less. That is the rate of interest. Always it will come to SB only. Then renewal of already, I told you, renewal of order term deposit from the date of maturity. It is prohibited. Overdue deposit when they have to balance last Friday of the calendar quarter. Last Friday of the calendar quarter, it has to be balanced. Now, some general aspects, whether unclaimed deposits after 10 years, within 3 months, 10 years, 3 months, we have to transfer to unclaimed, DEF fund, 3% rate of interest we discussed in KYC. Now, whether any account is excluded from unclaimed deposit? Yes, some are excluded. What are they? Sunday deposit, Sunday liabilities, credit balance in loan account. Rupee proceeds of foreign currency deposits, blocked, frozen, attached. These accounts you cannot transfer to unclaimed deposit. See, by seeing the names SDSL credit, we never do it. We never do this. We never do this. Only confusion is credit balance in loan account. This also you cannot transfer. And proceeds of foreign currency. These two you remember, one and two. These you cannot transfer as an unclaimed. Then, 
limitation of limitation period on making claim against bank if anybody wants to claim against bank how much period they have how much limitation period they have the maximum the limitation period is 3 years but from which date is important the date is not from the date of maturity it is the date from the demand by the customer customer whenever he demanded from there it is 3 years not from the maturity okay now extension of deposit general aspects on the deposits extension of deposit during tenure if somebody wants to close the account for example bank has introduced one scheme 400 days triple 4 days some good rate of interest bank gives in that case somebody wants to close the old account for a better rate of interest he wants to open a new account he if even though he is depositing with you bank guidelines are very clear extension of the period of deposit during tenure premature a penalty will be charged only one thing you remember sir up to 2 crores any deposit is closed 1% penalty above 2 crores no penalty this is the first thing you have to remember for penalties then domestic nro callable rupees 2 crore and above you see penalty is rate employees ex employees no penalty for us no penalty above 2 crores for customers no penalty less than 2 crores customers having penalty then mother as a guardian see if mother is a guardian then father is also alive everything can be done but loan cannot be taken branch should not grant any loan to the minor when father is alive remaining thing whatever mother wants mother can do she can take deposit she can withdraw anything she can do loan she cannot take then issue of duplicate deposit receipt option is tds046 up to 5000 rupees duplicate deposit receipt agreement of indemnifying is not required only plain paper if you put okay but above 5000 rupees agreement duly stamped is required here just a normal paper if you writes also we will give but above 5000 agreement should be duly stamped and duplicate deposit receipt only once only can be given it cannot be given twice and thrice and remember if any government department department lost his deposit receipt they want a duplicate deposit receipt simply branch cannot issue only when favoring government department mipd section roco has to give permission dgm dgm overseeing mipd roco has to permit then only you can give a duplicate deposit receipt to a government institutions private normal individuals yes less than 5000 with writing a paper you can give above 5000 agreement will be stamped you can take and you can give but only once preferential rate of interest to the employees the application we have to give is nf118 nf118 is the form we have to fill and give then only we will get preferential interest normal means 1% retired retired ex employee means 1.5% okay now who are all eligible staff confirmed or probationary eligible chairman cmd ed of the bank for 3 years eligible employee of the bank who has been deputed outside eligible pt with staff number eligible retired employee either singly or jointly eligible sir up to here you know i know you i know that you know it but remaining you read sir workmen who have come who have opted for resigned under svrs and completed not less than 20 years workmen who have not opted permission resigned under svr putting into not less than 20 years are eligible workmen who have completed 25 year service and resigned minimum 20 years under svr scheme resignation means 25 years same officer who served the bank not less than 20 years service and resigned under under svr eligible officers who have served the bank not less than 25 years so resignation 25 svr is 20 years remember these answers spouse of a deceased employee yes they are eligible any association or a fund where all the employees are the members then also eligible for preferential contracted employee also eligible only thing is up to term of contract is eligible what is a bulk deposit bulk deposit means 2 crores and above please remember 2 crores and above less than 2 crores is retail term deposit 2 crore and above is a bulk deposit callable deposit callable customer can ask any point of time premature or permissible he can prematurely withdraw in callable non callable no it is not permitted premature withdrawal is not permitted 
But remember, non-callable deposits starts at 46 days only. Now, what are the type of deposits we have? We have FD, KD, RD, NND, Austria, Capital Gains, Capital Favor. These are the seven deposits they have discussed in your deposit circular or a deposit master circular. First one is FD. Fixed deposit, minimum deposit is 1000, please remember. Fixed deposit, normally 1000. But if anybody is asking half yearly, yearly interest on compounded basis under FD, the period is different, amount is different. Minimum period is 5,000 in multiples of 100. Again, I'm repeating, sir. Normal FD asked 1,000. If he's asking half yearly, yearly interest to be compounded under FD, minimum 5,000. Again, comes to minimum period. Normal FD, 15 days, maximum 10 years. This is everybody knows. 15 days, minimum FD, maximum 10 years. But there is an exception here. Minimum 7 days also FD can be taken. Only one condition is deposit should be 5 lakhs and above. Again, I'm repeating, sir. Normal FD, 15 days to 10 years. Normal. But anybody wants less than 15 days, somebody wants to do, yes, it is permitted in exceptional condition. That is 7 days minimum, but minimum deposit should be 5 lakhs and above. And court orders, if court orders, yes, we can accept more than 10 years. Otherwise, generally, if you see any rate of interest, certainly it will be 10 years. Now, deposits in the name of minors, minimum 10 years. If you want to deposit in the name of minors, minimum 10 years. When a deposit due date is on a holiday, holiday or a non-business working day, what interest we have to pay? Contractual rate, whatever rate of interest on the deposit, the same rate of interest you have to pay on a holiday or a non-business working day. Now, now this is about FD. Now, I think I have shared here, if they want a compounded interest half yearly, then minimum 5,000 multiples of 5,000. Period also different. Here, normal FD, this is. If they want compound, period is minimum 2 years. In multiples of 6,000, maximum 10 is same. Maximum both are same. But a minimum period, there is a difference. Here, 15 days. Here, minimum 2 years. Compound means minimum 2 years. In multiples of 6 months. Simple interest, 15 days. Then, if any back-end subsidy like PME, GP, such type of uh, FDs you want to open without interest, product code is 599. Now comes to KDR. KDR, minimum period is 1000. FD also 1000. KD also 1000. But KD, minimum period is 5 months. Maximum period is same. I told you, any deposit maximum is 10 years. Except wherever court interferes, there we will open more than 10 years. Otherwise, in all deposits, 10 years. RD, KD, FD. But initial periods are different. For FD, it is 15 days to 10 years. But if anybody brings you more than 5 lakhs, if they are interested, you can open for 7 days. But KDR, minimum 5 months, not 15 days. Okay. Why 5, 3 months? How to remember 5 months? Because it is not a practice for us. We will take minimum general 1 year, 2 years. See, KDR is a compounded ceiling. Compounded rate of interest you will get in KDR. If a person give for 15 days, how you will give compound, sir? Interest should be created. Now, compound means interest on interest. So that is the reason after three months, interest will come on this deposit. Then again, interest will be created. So that is the reason three months plus it should be there. So bank has kept five months. Like that, if you understand, you will not make a mistake. KDR is a compounded. Compound means minimum one interest should come. On that, you have to compound. So minimum three months they have kept. So five months they have given. If you remember like this, you will not get confused. Now coming to Astraya. Astraya means senior citizen deposit scheme. 60 years and above, you know pretty well. Individually, jointly eligible, ex-employees all. Most important is Astraya deposit, NRI is not eligible. Astraya deposit, NRI is not eligible. This is odd man out. Same FD, 1000 rupees. Same period, 7 days to single deposit of 5 lakhs. Otherwise, 15 days to 5 lakhs. Below 5 lakhs, 15 days. Same like FD only. Maximum 10 years. Rate of interest 0.5%. Here the most important thing for exam is remaining things you know in practice. If you, any senior citizen comes to your branch, minimum period is not for them. It is less than 2 crores only they can deposit. Minimum tenor is 180 days and above. For what? For getting 0.5 concession. See, if they are opening, for example, a senior citizen came, 
he want to open a FDR for three months, he will not get 0.5 percent. If they want preferential rate of interest of 0.5 percent, uh, minimum tenure is six months or 180 days. And this preferential interest also will be given to senior division up to two crores. These two are very, very important for examination purpose. Then ex-employee senior regions, we will get 1.5. Senior region 0.5, employee 1. Total, we will become 1.5 after our retirement. But if only one scheme, bank will give 1% to ex-employee senior region. That is can tax ever. It is odd than out. Can tax ever, bank never give you 1.5. It will give you 1 only after retirement. Now comes to callable deposits and non-callable deposits. What is this non-callable? Non-callable means it, there will not be any premature closure. So the first important thing is minimum period is 46 days. I told you minimum 46 days in non-callable, maximum 10 years. Minimum 46, maximum 10 years. Minimum amount is 15 lakhs. Maximum amount, no limit. If any domestic person wants to open a call non-callable, minimum 46, maximum 10, minimum amount 15 lakhs, maximum no ceiling. Premature closure. I told you it is a non-callable. There is no pre-closure. Nothing will be there. Cannot be redeemed. Cannot be closed. Before, except death. Only if death means we will close. Otherwise, no chance of closure because he himself made a contract of non-callable. No part withdrawal, no sweeping, no sweep out, no auto renewal. Nothing is permitted in auto renewal except death. Periods are very important. Again, I am telling 46 days and 10 years. It, normal FD will start at 15 days. Exceptional 7 days above 5 lakhs. But non-callable starts at 46 days. Please remember, very, very important. Bulk deposits. I told you 2 crores and above is a bulk. Who is fixing rate of interest? Asset liable committee. A alco. Then permissions. 2 crores to 10 crores, if you are taking any deposit, remember you have to take permission from integrated treasury wing. 2 crores to 10 crores, rate you have to take from integrated treasury wing. Then above 10 crores, please remember 10 crores and above, now every branch cannot open. Only designated branches only can open. Next point is, about 10 crores, also you have to take permission from integrated treasury wing only, but there is a division called T&I division. Again, I'm repeating, sir, very important for exam. 2 crores to 10 crores, you have to take permission from integrated treasury wing only. About 10 crores also, integrated treasury wing only, but there is a section called T&I division. T&I division, integrated treasury wing Mumbai, you have to take permission for opening 10 crores and above FDs, deposits. And please remember, about 10 crores, only designated branches only can open. And one more thing, this permission directly you cannot ask IT wing. You have to take through MIPD section circle office. Then they will give a quote with that rate only you have to give to the customer. Then comes introduction with regard to term deposit. All deposit is not mandatory. Two photographs, normal it is. Photo not required for existing customer. Form 60, you know, penalty rules. This is important. As I already told you, when you understand that logic, you know, penalty 1% shall be waived. When penalty 1% shall be levied, not waived, levied, less than 2 crores. I told less than 2 crores charge. Waived, 2 crores and above, waived. Less than 2 crores charge, above 2 crores waiver, no charge, no penalty. Capital gains account, they will levy, irrespective of the amount. NRO, in case NRO term deposit, that is prematurely withdrawn for purpose of reinvesting in NRE term deposits. NRO term deposit removed to keep in NRE, then waived. See, in normal deposits, FDKD, bank has never allowed. Even a party wants to make a normal FD closure and they want to make triple four days, 400 days, kajana. No concession, no waiver. But NRO term deposit, they want to convert into NRE. Yes, this is waived. They have been permitted. No interest will be payable on domestic NRO deposits if it is closed within seven days. Minimum is seven days, now FDR. KDR is five months. If somebody puts for six days, why bank will pay interest? Simple. So before seven days, no interest will be paid. Interest calculation on term deposit. It is on quarterly basis. Quarterly intervals interest will be calculated. And FD, interest on FD payable on monthly at discounted value or quarterly or half yearly or yearly on maturity. 
interest on overdue deposit sb rate of interest only we have to pay this is second time we are discussing vsl od against bulk term deposits if anybody is taking vsl on bulk term deposit bulk means big deposits then 1 crore and above branches have to be diligent less than 10 crore off site monitoring bsc circle will has to monitor above 10 crores loans otm cell inspection means this is due diligence with regard to vsl taken against a bulk term deposit then generation of reports 1 crore and above 1 crore and above in respect of bulk deposits bsic section co should monitor this transaction every day 1 crore and above then review of bulk term deposits review of loans against bulk deposits who will review see deposit means resources so mipd will take care loans means crm section so crm section co will take care they have to review bulk term deposits mipd circle will do loans against bulk deposit crm section co will do this is the review mechanism now comes to canara tax can tax saver tax saver tax saver means 5 years so 5 years period of deposit 5 years senior citizens 0.5% extra they will get for staff citizen 1% this is what i told you it is odd man out generally we get 1.5% everywhere but can tax saver we get only 1% can tax saver if you invest you will get exemption under atc minimum 100 multiples of 100 maximum 1.5 lakhs because up to 1.5 lakhs only under atc you will get exemption so can tax saver can be maximum 1.5 lakhs no loan can be permitted because it is a tax saving joint with one more person is allowed rate of interest present is 6.7 percent on can tax ever now we came to rd rd minimum period is minimum amount is 50 rupees in multiples of 50 rd minimum is 50 in multiples of 50 rd minimum period is six months in multiples of three months maximum 10 years basics of rd these two are basics of rd we should know basics of rd very clear dhanavarsha is different this is normal rd due date of installment on or before of last working day of particular calendar any time they can do if they open rd in this month next month from first to 30 any, any day they can put it then comes discontinued rd if four installments are not paid it is called as discontinued rd Irregular RD. Installments are not paid regularly, but the account is maintained till its maturity. Then it is called as irregular RD. Please remember, we will collect penal charges for delayed installments. Penal charges we will collect for the delayed installments. How much? If the RD account is 5 years and less, above 5 years, charges are different. If it is 5 years and less, 1 rupee 50 paisa for every 100 rupees. If it is above 5 years, 2 rupees for every 100 is the penalty. This is the penalty we charge for if the party is not depositing the installments regularly, how much penalty we have to put, they are told. Less than 5 years, 1.5 per 100. Above 5 years, 2 rupees per 100. This is ostensible maturity. I have given a case. You can read once the presentation comes to you. Because time is short, I don't want to. This is very simple. You will understand this. Okay. Application of simple are not complete 15 days. No interest will be given in RD. RD to get FD 7 days, RD 15 days, less than 15, no interest. Above 15 days, up to 3 months, simple rate of interest we will give. Again, I am repeating, up to 15 days, no interest, 15 to 3 months, simple interest. Then, branch should recover the actual amount of interest payable or sum of 5 rupees, which is lower than service charges when an RD account closes before maturity within 3 months from date of opening. If somebody is opening a 50 rupees RD, simple. Within three months, he wants to close. Nothing will come interest. So here bank is saying, if anybody is closing within three months, if service charges are very low, then minimum five rupees we have to collect from the account. Canada Dhanavarsha. Canada Dhanavarsha, the RD means generally 50 rupees in multiples of 50. If you open an RD for 50, every month you can 50 put 50 only. Dhanavarsha is a flexible RD. What is the flexibility here is, for example, I have opened a RD for 10,000 rupees per month for one year. The maximum what I can put 12 months means 1,20,000 rupees. Correct? This is RD. But Dhanavarsha means even if I put 10,000 rupees every month, expecting that 12,000 will be my 
one year, one year twelve thousand. But next month, if I want, I can keep ten times extra. That means this month uh, October I have paid ten thousand rupees. November I can put RD for RD in RD installment as one lakh. I can deposit one lakh as second installment. So ten times what I have made a contract with the bank. I made a contract for RD for ten thousand, but I can deposit ten times extra. That means one lakh I can deposit. I will get the contractual rate, no premature penalty. These are the best features of Canada Dhanvar Charity. Now let us see what is RD eligibility. Individual, joint account, guardian, everybody can open here. Leave it. Deposit minimum five hundred, maximum one lakh. Very important. Normal RD fifty plus fifty, but Dhanvar Sha five hundred, maximum one lakh. I have already told you top up. 10 times of the installment you can deposit that is the best feature of canada dhanavarsha minimum period one year in multiples of 3 months maximum 10 years same like rd same like rd here rd is 6 months dhanavarsha is one year rd 50 dhanavarsha 500 minimum rd maximum no ceiling here they made 1 lakh 1 lakh means 10 lakhs you can you can deposit next month 10 times na this is the maximum okay no penalty loan available taxable only sb rate of interest is only not taxable fd rd everything is taxable now i came to some important circular issue this year 758 bar 2022 one application was introduced that is nf 1049a this nf 1049a is application for opening term deposit or rd of existing customers very important sir if anybody has already opened a term deposit at rd for existing customer a fresh application form was introduced by the bank that is n049a remaining all are old only for individuals sb current account rd 1018 1018 is for non individuals sb current account term deposit nf 993 customer request form yani if 1805 account opening of nri then comes to ho circular 152 with regard to dicgc already we have discussed in, in detail in uh, general banking 5 lakhs bank issued circular here now pfms account we have already discussed one place new product with checkbook internet banking facility sb 143 product code current account 1655 these are the products all applicable charges are waived here Including check returns and cash handling charges also waived. Zero balance account, checkbook and SMS facilities available. Internet banking is facility available with high transaction along with transaction rights. That's all. Remaining all are common points. Now we will come to callable deposits. For callable, these are the important four hundred. Canara four hundred. See, actually this scheme is now discontinued. Canara four hundred is discontinued, but still we have to read this. Because last time in one question I have seen, he is reading one by one circular. When he picks this particular circular, he will pose a question. He will write a question. Now he will not delete. He don't know four hundred is removed from your bank. So better to know this product also. Canara four hundred. That is four hundred days deposit scheme. Most important points. Minimum deposit is twenty five thousand. Callable is twenty five thousand. Online, offline, both can be done. Callable. But non-callable minimum fifteen lakhs only they have to deposit. Only they come to branch and they have to do. For at four hundred days deposit minimum twenty five thousand rupees is okay. Maximum is two crores actually. Up to two crores you can deposit. But anybody wants to deposit in non-callable then above fifteen lakhs can be given. Callable above twenty five thousand up to two crores they can do online offline no issues. But non-callable above fifteen lakhs only only in branch. Okay, then auto renewal. I already told you this special scheme not available. Premature closure, non-callable, not non-callable means not applicable. Any other guidelines? All other penalty and preferential rates for the senior citizens as per norms they will give. And SMS and email alert regarding expiry or overdue, fifteen days prior we have to give information. This is available in this circular. Fifteen days prior, you have to give a due notice to the customer that your deposit is going to be matured. Call back. I think one circular has come that CNA parent child account bank has called unused checklist call back from the customers. Now we came to NND deposit. I think another ten minutes, fifteen minutes I will take. We will finish the session. 
NND deposit, new Nitya Nidhi deposit. This is specially designed for, as you know, the daily savers. One daily NND agent will be there. He will go to the area. He will collect some deposit from the customers and he will deposit in the bank. This is the concept of NND. Okay. Daily collection of agents. No. The most important is no new agents to be appointed. Now, whoever is there, they will continue. No new agent. Tenor is only 63 months now. There are different tenors, but presently only 63 months only per deposit. Minimum amount under this NND is 50 rupees. Very important, I'm telling. NND minimum 50. Maximum per day for one end agent goes to a customer means he can deposit minimum 50. Maximum 1000. Remember, minimum 50, maximum 1000. Maximum if it is 1000 per day, how much it will become per month? 30 into 100. 30,000. No need to remember. But you have to remember these two. 50 and 1,000. If at all, he is, for example, he has depositing, he has deposited 2,000 rupees. Bank said very clearly, no interest, no commission shall be paid beyond the limit. Maximum 1,000 pay karna. Extra, no interest, no commission to agent. Now, deposit. Daily collection. See, agent will go at 4 o'clock also, 5 o'clock also, 6 o'clock also for collection. It cannot be deposited in the bank. So bank said very clearly, deposit should be done. Whatever collection you made today, it should be deposited next working day as a first entry. But if collection made on Saturday, Sunday and other holidays, it should be deposited as first entry in the next working day. If Saturday, Sunday means Monday. Holiday means next day. Next day, first entry should be collection account. This is how this account will be monitored. Eligibility, sir, everybody can open, you cannot open, companies cannot open. Don't read these lines, leave this red part. NND, anybody can open. Staff, we never opened, they have not been allowed to open. And companies also not allowed. Loan can be given, 75% of the balance outstanding. Now, any NND balance, customers, whether we can adjust it to NPA, yes. But after completion of 12 months, Without recovering commission paid to the NND agent from the depositors, we can adjust. Then transferable transfer balance to NND to term deposit. Whether we can do NND deposit to term deposit? No, it is not permitted. Even though NND deposit is matured, you have to give the proceeds only. We cannot make a term deposit. Now coming to the commission part. NND agent, whatever commission he is earning, whatever commission he is earning on that 10%. 10% of their monthly commission earned will be kept as a FD, KDR, for 5 years. Very, very important. NND agent, whatever commission he is earning, 10% of their monthly commission earned will become a KDR for 5 years. Please remember, we will make a KDR, but emergency and this deposit, whatever KDR you are making for 5 years, it should not get printed or issued. You should not print it. And lien also you have to put on this deposit. These two precautions you have to take care on. NND commission with commission made it KDRs. 10% 5 years. Now last point. Partial withdrawal. If for example he is having a medical problem. Can't he draw? Yes, it is allowed. 50% of the deposit permitted for emergence like medical need, marriage and house construction. It can be permitted but only one condition. It is only yearly ones. Premature 50% permitted, but only once. And branches have to take permission from respective RO before closure of partial withdrawal, before permitting partial withdrawal. Now we come to the NND agent's commission. How much commission this NND agent will take? See, the most important here, the NND agents went to court and CGIT has also awarded. CGIT, what they have awarded is, these daily collections, what they do, Minimum target we have kept. There are three categories. A, B, C. A, C, T, B, C, T, C, C, T. Minimum collection what they have to do is 3 lakhs per month, 4 lakhs per month, 5 lakhs per month. This is the monthly target. Like you have business targets, they have business target. Minimum 3, 4, 5. C is the least small city. 3, 4, 5. Remember, this is per month. But if they are unable to reach monthly target, they can reach quarterly also. Quarterly simple. 3 means 3 into 3, 9 lakhs. 4 means 12 lakhs. 5 means 15 lakhs. If they reach monthly, okay. Otherwise, quarterly they have to reach. 
Okay, quarter means March, June, just like your calendar year, financial year. Okay, so this is this are this whether monthly you reach, quarterly you reach. Okay, if they reach, it's okay. This is the minimum target. Now, wages, wages, wages. If they reach minimum three lakhs, minimum three lakhs, na, then they will get wage of eight thousand rupees per month, and a conveyance is seven fifty per month. Minimum eight thousand seven fifty they are going to get if they collect minimum three lakhs. Very very important points, sir. Don't miss any important point here. Minimum is three four five. C A B C you put three four five you put reversed category. Then monthly also you can reach quarterly. Quarterly is a very easy. You just multiply with three. Answer will come. Wages minimum three lakhs. If A B C is doing, they will get eight thousand per month wage and conveyance seven fifty. Here the here one more benefit they got. If they collect more than three lakhs to five lakhs, more than three lakhs to five lakhs, then irrespective of their areas of collection, they get some incentive. How much remuneration is three percent extra? Extra they will get three percent. How? For example, deposit collector area B. B B how much sir? Four lakhs. But how much minimum? Minimum three lakhs he got. Minimum three lakhs he got. Three lakhs he got eight thousand seven fifty. But four lakhs he has achieved. For example, A B four lakhs means one lakh extra. One lakh above three percent, three thousand he will get extra. A is for example he achieved five lakhs. Minimum three lakhs he has achieved. For that he will get eight thousand plus seven fifty. Remaining extra two lakhs what he has achieved on that three percent six thousand. So this is extra remuneration they will get other than these eight thousand rupees. Above five lakhs, anything if they collect, they will get extra two percent incentive. Deposit collector would get incentive two percent extra. So three to five lakhs is three percent. Above five lakhs, it is two percent. Now, all deposit collectors, irrespective of the area operation, seven fifty rupees per month conveyance they will get. This every month they will get. Now, if in case they fail to collect the deposit collect, they are they have not even collected three lakhs. If collection consequently, if they have not done for two quarters, if two quarters, if two quarters means three means nine lakhs, nine lakhs, nine lakhs, he has not achieved his contract of service would be snapped. That means he will be removed from the contract of agent. But please remember, recently High Court of Karnataka has given an interim order that services of pygmy customers shall not be dispensed. So you cannot remove because High Court interim order is there, Karnataka. Okay, then payment of gratuity to NND agents. If NND agents also gratuity is there, the gratuity calculation is fifteen days of commission for each completed year. Whatever service they have done, fifteen days commission for each completed year service, and how it will be calculated. The average commission of twelve months preceding the date of cessation or termination of agency. Last twelve months, what average commission he has earned, sir? Even when we are getting, we are taking VRS, bank will see last ten months what is your average salary based on that your pension is calculated. Same thing here also when the gratuity of agent has come last twelve months before going out, they will see the average commission. On that, they will give, they will calculate fifteen days commission for each completed year. Based on that, they will get the gratuity. The most point important, another point is less than six months service will be ignored. Above six months will be taken as a one completed year for calculating this gratuity commission. Then, in case of resignation, termination, or death, then security deposit to be refunded only from after six months from the date of acceptance of resignation. See, one one person has resigned. Termination death is okay. Resigned. He might have done something. We don't know. So that is the reason bank said six months. We will not give the refund. After six months, we will give. This six months, we have to take care one important point. We have to give a paper publication because public after he, public don't know. Na he already left the. He has resigned. They may they may give the money for collection. So that is the reason bank immediately will give a notice in a newspapers. Regarding his death or a resignation or a termination, anything we will give information to public about these NND agents 
resignation, death or determination. What happens is, if they see in the paper, they will not give the deposit to him. But one thing, the most important thing is, in that paper, bank will give clear-cut instructions. If any claims are there, within 30 days, they have to claim. In the paper, too, today, the paper advertisement has come. Sir, this agent is terminated. Anything, you should not give any money to this agent now onwards. If any claims are there, please claim with the bank within 30 days from this notice, this paper advertisement. If they are not coming within 30 days, bank doesn't have any responsibility. No claims will be entertained after the expiry of stipulated period, that is 30 days, right? Now, NND agents interest, NND deposit interest, sorry, deposits. See, a penalty of 0.05% interest payable. A penalty of 0.05% will be penalized when closed within 12 months of opening. Now, all NND deposits will be opened for 63 months. Whatever opened earlier, if it is closed within 12 months, then bank said this is the rate of interest bank will give. And if they are closing within 12 months, then up to 12 months only bank will penalize. How much? 0.05%. Now, the deposit schemes have come. SB Select, this uh, payroll package and all. Uh, I think uh, this particular products, I will uh, explain you within 2-3 uh, minutes. But for your better understanding, I will make small videos so that you can understand better about this product. SB Select uh, is for only non-business business customers. Payroll package is for salaried, pensioners, Jeevandara, and these people only uh, business people, SB Select. SB select people, no minimum balance, no minimum balance is required based on the area, rural, semi-urban, urban, metro. Rural, you remember 10,000, that's all. Minimum monthly balance is 10,000. Remaining all plus 5 add. 15, 20, 25. This is SB select minimum balance. They may ask you in SB select, what is the minimum balance in semi-urban, urban, metro? Posing question very easy. No initial deposit is required. Now, what are the benefits? The most important benefit is locker operations unlimited free. Number one. Number two, debit card, platinum debit, debit card, whatever we issue, nil, annual maintenance free. These are the best features I can tell. Remaining are other features. They are NEFT, RTGS, IMPS, MPS free. 25 checkbooks will be given to these customers. And airport launch, all these things, rupee card, insurance already I told you, baggage production 25,000, ATM cash withdrawal, internet, mobile banking, non maintenance minimum balance as applicable. But later they have given a circular on charges also. So minimum balance is very important, 10, 15, 20, 25, rural, semi-urban, urban metro you have to remember. And other features you have to remember, they can, simply they will ask how many checkbooks are free for a SB select customer. This answer you have to give. Okay. Anyway, this product, I will make a video. Now it's already overshooted. I don't want to explain much on this. This is SB Select brochure. This is with regard to your payroll package. Uh, earlier also I discussed. Once again, I will discuss. Payroll package is a very important package. Scope of questions coming is high in this. The first one is there are four products. Silver, gold, diamond, platinum. Silver means 50,000 salary, 50,000 to 1 lakh, 1 lakh to 1 lakh 50,000, 1 lakh 50,000 and above. This is silver, gold, diamond, platinum. In silver, minimum 5 accounts are to be opened. But in gold, diamond, platinum, minimum 1 account is enough. Age, I already told you, 18 to 65 is the age. And salaried account, whoever is coming, he has to provide mandate from the company. These are the eligibilities. Who are all the customers can open this package. Individuals, senior citizens, blind, illiterate, all four can open. Not only for them, zero balance account for customer, for their spouse and children also bank is permitting. For a silver, they are not allowed. For a gold, spouse plus one. For a diamond and platinum, spouse plus two zero balance accounts are free. Please remember, if they are not, salary is not creating continuously for three months and four months in a year, Bank will charge penalty or service charge. How much? 250 rupees per silver into 2, 500 into 3, 750, 1000. All 250 additions. 250, 500, 750, 1000 is the service charge. Bank will collect from the customer when the salary is not coming for three consecutive months 
and in a financial year four times. This is the charge. Now comes to checkbook. NEFT, RTGS, IMPS, SMS are free for all the customers. Checkbooks, 200 leaves are customers for all the customers. DDs, for silver, it is two DDs are free. And for remaining customers, it is unlimited free. Debit card, issue free, AMC free. Both are free. Credit card, only issue free. AMC, there is a charge. Silver, no concession given. GDP, 25%, 50%, 100%. When they are using your rupee debit card, there is a feature available for them. ATM cash withdrawal up to 1 lakh. Point of sale, 5 lakhs. NFS, contactless, 25,000 rupees. And please remember, the ATM transactions, they can use your ATM unlimited free. Generally, as for retail, retail uh, or uh, digital policy, for general customers, six transactions are free. For senior citizen, eight transactions are free in your ATM. Financial, non-financial, both. For staff, 10 transactions are free. But for payroll package customers, unlimited free. If beyond that, if somebody is using six, eight to 10, 20 rupees charges for financial transaction, 5 rupees for non-financial transaction, bank is going to charge as a service charges. For these payroll customers, it is unlimited free. But coming to other than your bank ATM, if somebody is using, for a metro area, 3 transactions are free. For non-metro area, 5 transactions are free. Please note, these 5 transactions, 3 transactions, it is not free for even payroll package customer. It is chargeable. They are, also, they are also supposed to restrict their usage in other bank ATMs. And when they have this debit card, rupee debit card, airport launch, they can access how two per quarter, if in, in domestic, international, they can access two per year, two per quarter in India, two per year in international. Baggage cover and package production. Baggage cover means in airport, if they lost the baggage and all, 25,000 insurance bank has covered. Purchase production. If any purchase and all, if they are doing card was wrongly used by somebody and all these things, then 25,000 insurance bank is covering to these people. These are the benefits given to these people. And OD, overdraft, as I told you, you have to remember amount first. 10,000, 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 3 lakhs. 10,000, 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 3 lakhs. This is the overdraft permitted. Overdraft rate of interest is RLLR plus 2.40%. Through A1 app, silver customer can avail for 15 days. Sorry, only 15 days, silver customer has to go to branch only. For GDP customer, through A1 app, they will get 15 days. If they go to branch, they will get more number of days. Silver, two months, for uh, two months tenure bank will give. And for... Uh, mm, Diamond also two months they will give and platinum they will give three months for clearing the OD. That is tenure. Okay. This is with regard to OD. Personal, personal loan will be given but service charges on retail lending. 20, silver no concession. Gold 25%, 50%, 75%. Term deposit already I have covered. TOD already covered there. Here salary I have given. Locker charges. Locker operations unlimited free. But locker charges, silver, no concession, 5, 10, 15. Account opening. They can open through tap. Portability is available. Personal accidental and air accident. Very important. We have to remember the numbers. 16, 18. 16 lakhs personal accident. 18 lakhs air accident for silver customers. 16, 18. 26, 28. 44, 38. 54, 58. Like that you have to remember. No option. Okay, spouse and, and this personal accidental insurance will be covered after within 10 days. Once the account is opened within 10 days, after 10 days, automatically this insurance will be covered. Term life insurance on the bottom, the screen is not clear. 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 4 lakh, 6 lakhs. So this is, and uh, even if any payroll package customer, if you want to bring from other bank, bank said LSR charges, processing charges, valuation charges, everything bank will absorb this is with regard this is the one place i have kept all the features with regard to this now coming to this jeevan dara account jeevan dara is for pensioners sb select for businessmen premium payroll package is for salaried and the pensioners also bank launched one product that is called jeevan dara there are only two products 
diamond platinum that's all okay so diamond platinum diamond means less than 50000 pension the above 50000 pension will be called as platinum the most important features available here is first i have written whatever is same all are same here see top of facility if they take a pension loan if their liability is clear to more than 50% again the again the entire loan will be fresh it will be given to them that is top up they will make it same both platinum and pot of diamond platinum both they will get medicines if they through a1 app if they apply 25% discount same both both the products will be there life certificate free of cost bank will collect same for both debit card platinum card for this uh, diamond platinum card for diamond select card for platinum sorry platinum cards platinum uh, jeevan dara customers unlimited atm transactions like uh, payroll package pensioners also allowed unlimited both card issue credit card issue free amc also free both neft rtgs net banking sms imps dd both of them free processing charges on pension loan free for both the customers now come to insurance yes there is a difference here if it comes to diamond 16 lakhs 20 lakhs if it comes to platinum 24 lakhs 30 lakhs but one advantage is if he is a defense pensioner all are 40 lakhs but defense pensioner all are 40 lakhs only you can see all are 40 lakhs loan rent locker rent concession 25% 50% for them 25 for them 50 waiver of retail lending processing charges 25% 50% TOD TOD 1 lakh 2 lakh amount wise 1 lakh 2 lakh amount is 1 lakh 2 lakh but how much 2 months net pension created maximum 1 lakh 3 months net pension maximum 2 lakh rate of interest is RLLR plus 2.50% and validity is 60 days and 90 days and check leaves for diamond account 60 leaves bank will give free and for them unlimited free VSL, if they take term deposit plus 1% and uh, remaining uh, platinum is TD plus 0.75%. So general, if they are not crediting pension, same for three months or four months in a year, for them, the charge is 500 rupees for Jivandara customers. I hope these products, I, that is the reason I felt I should teach in a such a way in a board so that it will go into your brain. If you see the presentation, I don't think you can remember these products. It is very difficult, I personally feel. Because in the SPAR classes and all, I used to take without any PPT. People understand better. So I will try to put it in a board. In a board, I will I will put and I will explain you. I will keep in your mind. So that in any question comes, you can answer. Okay? Then Jivandara, one more product also that is there. It is normal citizen. He is not a pensioner. Just 60 years and above, whoever's open an account, EV is called as a Jivandara 110 product code. For them, also bank has given some good features. No minimum balance. Debit card will be issued for them. Free of cost. AMC also free. Platinum card can be given but with the request of the customer. Free ATM transactions. Credit card issued free. AMC will be there. NEFT, RTGS, Net Banking, SMS, IMPS, DD is free. Here the most important point. 50% concession on rent will be given. But average balance they have to maintain 2 lakhs on annual basis then only 50% concession rate. medicines 50% they will also get and checkbooks 60 leaves per annum they will get they will get 60 these people also 60 you see these are all 60 okay yeah this is FCNR rate of interest bank has modified this is important circular uh, 710 Ter retail term deposit. If you want to transfer from one branch to another term deposits, now branches are permitted to transfer up to 2 crores. Please remember, retail term deposits without obtaining any permission, you can transfer now. Okay, Branch in charge irrespective of the scale. Just like SB current account, you can transfer term deposits up to 2 crores. Please remember that is nothing but retail term deposits. The triple four days rate of interest bank has given seven point the highest present it is going on with us. Non-callable deposits. Above 15 lakhs only we have to open for individuals and HUF. And callable deposits, general public up to 10 crores, senior citizens less than 2 crores. I already told you senior citizens, 180 2 crores. But in non-callable, callable deposits, 2 crores. Period is 180. General public up to 10 crores they can deposit. 
non callables means premature not withdrawal and as we know now general public and senior citizen non callable minimum 15 lakhs you see here but general public up to 10 crores they do but senior citizen up to 2 crores and the most important feature here is general public 46 days to 10 years they can make but senior citizens maximum 3 years this is one more rider they have kept here please try to remember this Nor this is normal 10 crores 10 years all the Pub callable means 46 days anyway you will put no confusion but general 10 years it is permitted for senior citizen only 3 years okay non callable will not have a auto renewal part with the draw level senior citizens including rd third time i am telling bank is offering 0.5 less than 2 crores 10 or 180 days and special term deposits are already discontinued here you can see 400 days already discontinued from 5th april it is discontinued rera if rera if they want sweep out facility it can be done 5 lakhs in multiples of 5 lakhs 5 lakhs in multiple of 5 lakhs is available in allied also okay then number of days is different here rera is 7 to 45 days only sweep out frequency is weekly it will be done on every monday if monday is a holiday or a last day of the month it will happen on next working day Anyway, threshold limit for the FD is 5 lakhs because 5 lakhs above in multiples of 5 lakhs only that RERA uh, support facility will happen. No loan can be granted. Yeah, this is the last slide. SB select service charges. This much service charges SB select. In the earlier circular, they told it is equal to SB. But later bank issued a circular 457. Please try to understand this particular charges. Based on the amount they have kept. Rural means 10,000. Nah? So 9 to 6, 50 rupees per month like that they have kept. Please try to observe this. Okay. With this, we will end. This is your number. 18001030. Let us read some questions and we will finish. Sir, are you there, sir? I think you can answer this question. Which is not the feature of Canada SB Jeevandara Platinum account? Now, let us see how much you can... Sir, are you there, sir? Anand, sir. So, which is not the feature of SB Jivandara? That is the reason I told. See, very difficult, na? even though I told it's a reading only. You cannot understand this. Uh, sir, are you there, sir? Yeah, just five minutes. That there some questions are there. You just tell me, and we'll finish it up. Okay. Which one is not the feature of SB Jeevandara Platinum? Jeevandara two accounts, Diamond Platinum. Platinum is asking. Two lakhs overdraft is correct. Ninety days is correct. Maximum age pension at seventy five is correct. Applicable rate of interest is correct. First one is wrong. Overdraft facility is for not for two months. It is for three months. Whoever given A is correct answer. Sir, are you there, sir? Yeah. Sir, uh, any mixed answer coming? Yes, yeah, mostly people have given A. Some people have given C. Ah, that's what I told her that I know where I can teach you better. Definitely, I'll make a presentation. Don't worry. Products, I will make you very clear. Please wait for some time. Give me some time. First of all, let me finish my presentations. Last week, I will give you videos, small, small videos, so that you will have a comfortable answering position in Jivandara or all these products. Which one is not the feature of Jeevandara Diamond? Diamond, not. Another five minutes. C. C. D. Sir, 2.5 is correct answer. Maximum have I installed 75 years. Correct. Instant order 90 days. It is a diamond account. Diamond account C is wrong. It is a 60 days, not for 90 days. Bank okay. will constrain to close the account if ECS managers are designed for the region funds on dash during the financial year. Closure, ECS mandate closure, when we will do? People are giving B. B. B, B, 4. Ah, 4, four okay. correct, correct, correct. Under Canada Allied, auto sweep is available for a period of 
ki yeah if the balance in operative current account falls below dash there is no response when specified data the account is to closed i think this you will give correct answer b b for bombay yeah tod under gold variant of canara premium package scheme is permitted up to dash and dash tod under gold variant canara premium payroll first correct diamond variant see 10000 1 lakh 2 lakh 3 lakh diamond gdp 2 lakhs first answer 2 lakhs then we have to go to the months how many months answer b answer is c c 3 months only 2 months is tenure that is the reason some confusions will be there. I have to take one one more. I will take you. You you cannot remember these schemes. Okay, I will do something. What is the minimum amount of daily contribution of NND scheme? This you will tell. You see, small means you get lot of products means you will get confused. Lot of features. I mean to say, sir. D D. Ah uh, yeah. Fifty. Daily collection should not exceed dash in NND. Daily collection. Thousand. What is the tenor of account open under NND scheme? Now only one tenor I told. Correct. 63. No penalty imposed if NND closed before maturity, but com not coming minimum period of? No penalty okay. is imposed. Yeah. Pause rent for Kendra. Current account hold is waived for dash based on demand if the entry is having. This answer I have not told to you, this, this particular point. If you might have read somewhere, you can answer. Okay, correct answer. D. Yeah, three separate terminals. Auto sweep, Kendra delight in multiples of what? Kendra delight, third product. D. Very good. What is the delegated powers of scale one officer passing staff checks? E. Very good. Special assistance powers. All multiple choice answer. Sir, special assistance power. Normally it is fifty thousand. When it is coming to transfers, it is one lakh fifty thousand. Cash checks up to fifty thousand only can pass. Yeah. So thank you. I have overshooted. I don't have a choice because I don't want you to people to wait for this particular one policy. So I finished it. So thank you very much. We will meet. I think both gap. Eh? I think CRM policy we will meet. So thank you very much. Hope you will enjoy the cricket match now. Okay, sir. We will. Shall we end the session, sir? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank Bye, you. friends. Good night. Take care of you.